Welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> Liam gets ever creative every week, right before the camera goes live. Thank you, Liam. Hey, first good one of the campaign. Come there on. you go. <laughs> That's pretty solid. That's uh, so, welcome. Uh, before we get jumping into the game, we have some announcements, so we'll get through those as quickly as possible. Uh, first and foremost, uh, once again, uh, returning and for uh, an extended time for the foreseeable future, our, we are happy to have a sponsor and partner, D and D Beyond. Yeah, uh, awesome, uh, fantastic application for those to to make their D and D characters and store them online and adjust. And I think uh, Sam, you wanted to go ahead and take that yes, away. Yes, uh, D and D Beyond is our awesome sponsor. Uh, it's a great uh, online mobile access thing that you can manage all sorts of stuff. I'm kind of losing my voice tonight, because, oh, uh, no. yeah, I know. So so that I can preserve my voice for the rest of the night, uh, Laura, can you can you read the copy, and I'll just lip sync it. The joy of sitting next to you. Yes, thank you. Mm. Oh, thank oh you God. That. As you know, D&D Beyond is the official digital tool set for Critical Role. It's got a ton of features, but one of the coolest is that it keeps track of stuff like hit points, inspiration, and all sorts of modifiers to your dice rolls, which is amazing, especially if you're the kind of person who's more focused on which dice you're rolling with. Keep going. <laughs> you know, the kind of superstitious gamer who thinks that the color or style of dice actually makes any difference at all. Sort of weirdo who believes some dice are lucky and some are cursed. Or one of those crackpot shut-ins who uses dice jails. <laughs> those people are lame. <laughs> Anyway, check them out at <laughs> www. Yeah, keep going. Uh, <laughs> Talk about your belt. Dndbeyond.com. That's D N D, not D and D. Mm -hmm. D and D. <laughs> and get ten dollars off any book in the marketplace with code Beginnings. <laughs> also, Sam Regal is a cockbag. What? No, that's not what it says. Yes. 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 Great additions at the end. Thank you, Sam. Well done. <laughs> classic. classic. And thank you, Laura, for the assist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you, Dini Beyond, for being awesome partners uh, on this new campaign. Um, oh, that's so good. Indeed. Uh, and as a reminder, uh, Talks Machina uh, with our, our recently paroled friend, Brian W. Foster, hosts every Thursday, Parole. sorry, every Tuesday, um, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific on Twitch and Project Alpha to talk about this episode. Uh, that's happening tonight, next week. So check it out if no. you're around and no. want to see different cast members' thoughts on what has transpired. Um, uh, the campaign, the new campaigns, episode two, is now up available for download on podcasts. So you can go ahead and find that where all great podcasts are available on the internet. Um, issue number four of the Critical Role yes. comic, Vox Machina oh, Origins, yeah. is out. Yes. It's out for a couple days now. It's so um, It's starting to, to ramp up. Towards the uh, towards the story climax in the next two issues, and uh, pretty pretty excited about it. The next two issues are crazy. Well oiled machine. That yeah, party. those of us who know what happens in the next two issues, it's like I'm being impatient. Yeah. I don't know what happens. Nah. Oh my god, I saw <laughs> some pages. I saw some early black and white pages today. <sighs> Olivia does such a good job. Olivia Olivia's an artist for it. She's from the critter community. She's amazing, and she does an incredible job yes, with the comics. Love. So show her some love. Olivia Sampson's amazing. And Matt Koval, of course, our writer, and everyone else who works in the comic, they do a great job. So check it out if you haven't had the chance. Um, it's available on digital download on the Dark Horse app, on uh, Comixology, and a lot of other awesome places on the internet you could probably find. Are you? Oh, jeez. Yeah, Why do we put you two next to each other? <laughs> Look, I gave him a dice and he gave me a dice. Oh, that's actually really cute. I apologize for being so snappy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I apologize for a little. Uh, Puffy still had my wisdom teeth taken out, so uh, that was fun. Are you yeah, me? all of them. When are you functional? Uh, on Saturday. No anesthetic. Oh, I heard. Go like your mouth hole. No, you did not want that. I expected that. your cheeks to be all puffy. They have, they have been throughout the whole week, and just like steadily, I've been like, just please don't be so bad on Thursday. So it's okay. It's not too bad today. No. Um, did you but, get yeah. chiseled? Like a for a while? He looks fine. It's all in his head. You dunk your face in a tub of ice and stuff. A lot, uh, of a lot of yeah. ice. A lot of ice. But that's enough about me and my gum holes. <laughs> my gum holes. <laughs> well, I would like to hide behind 50 characters now. Exactly. Uh, that's that's my usual defense mechanism yeah, in any yeah. sort of social <laughs> engagement. 
Um, also, once again, our fantastic charity, A26LA. Yes. If you had a chance to check it out, they do amazing uh, programs for creative writing for uh, underprivileged kids. Uh, if you have the opportunity to donate or uh, donate your time to become one of their fantastic uh, volunteers, that'd be fantastic. Check it out. We love them and been supporting them for a long time. They're amazing. So thank you, A26LA. 826. Um, or A26 near your near your home. Uh, and uh, I think I think those are all the major announcements. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Any Whoa, that was fast. That I know, we went through really fast. fast. I didn't even throw my dice yet. Uh, I mean, no new oh, cons oh, or events. Um, <laughs> so with that, let's go and dive in oh, to tonight's episode oh, of Critical Role. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so, last we left off, uh, this intrepid band of slowly converging individual stories into some semblance of an adventuring party have found themselves caught up in an investigation. There was a carnival that you attended, of which Molly Mock was a part of, that had a terrible scenario occur. A, a, an older man who was at the, uh, the carnival had been transformed in the middle of, middle of performance into some horrible undead creature that attacked and assaulted other people uh, within the tent. You defeated it, and the since have all been under investigation and been told you can't leave the town. To try and absolve yourselves of any sort of doubt, you've begun to investigate what the cause is for this strange transformation. You've gone around the town, asking questions, meeting individuals, eventually finding yourselves back at the tent in the middle of the night, past midnight, in the, the early hours of the morning. Uh, sneaking into tents and asking members of the carnival what they may know about what has transpired. Um, upon speaking with a number of members of the, the carnival, two of the guards that were on site suddenly fell dead where they were standing, writhing in pain as they passed. And you watched as a large shadow, of which you had confirmed being uh, fiendish in nature, leapt northward towards the Ustalak and out of sight as both uh, Ford and Caleb had rushed out of the main tent to see the center of the camp where these two bodies begin to rise up. Two more of the freshly transformed undead creatures now angered and looking about for something to feast upon. And that was where we left off. We're totally good, we're totally good. So, there's no, no problem with our set. That was the third spell, by the way, Detective Nemo. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Hey. So how many spells do you have left? No spells. Zero spells. No I've got cantrips though, so don't worry, guys. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, no burger. That's not gonna be slump. Just the fried bits. Not even an onion left in there. It's just the fried crust. I would like you all to roll initiative, please. Oh, right off the bat. Yeah. Roll initiative. We're fighting already. Okay, okay, okay. We're either fighting or running. Nope. I rolled her dice, it was a one. I'm never rolling it again. Oh no! Yeah, we rolled low. Level two! Oh no! Oh no! Did not do well either. Oh, I'm 
All righty. So, uh, 20 to 15. On 24. All righty. Bo, up top. Uh, 15 to 10. Uh, elf, 11. All right. Is that German? Yeah. 10 no. to 5? Yeah. Uh, 5. Yeah. 8. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a number. That's, yeah. That it is. Oh, man. Oh, did you get it? Nope. nope. Three. 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 <laughs> All right. We are three initiative? Oh, no. What's, you, what's your initiative? What's your modifier? I Zero. Know. So, five. Five. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah. Oh, no. Level three can't come The good news is they didn't roll very high either. That's good. Um, But still better than a lot of you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, and then three oh. and three. No, I'm four. I'm, you're four. You're okay, four. there we go. You're one, right? All right, man. Just turn. So five. Oh, one plus four. Oh, and you are one plus nothing. One plus three. One plus three. three. All righty. <laughs> so, um, you watch as these two zombified guards, their armor, the kind of brass-colored uh, scale armor, clinking as their forms rise up, looking around. <sighs> Just peer past the shadow darkness around the campfire, lighting the interior. The horses grow nervous as you watch uh, both Caleb and uh, Ford emerge from the tent right in their sights. You watch as they both begin to lumber in your direction. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> you, you guys are out in the open? Yeah, mm, they're yeah. just sitting there. We just walked out a tent door and are looking at. That. Uh, I think uh, there's a cart right there. Oh, so I say go ahead and yep. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, oh. They, they are right fast to... moving zombies. Well, that's all I can do. Is he with it? <laughs> oh, he double dashes. He kind of lurches towards them. <laughs> they work, they, they move a little bit quicker than you'd expect, um, but not necessarily that quick. But they both spend their full uh, turns trying to just close the gap. Okay. Uh, for those horses. Is that one five or ten feet away from me? The horses immediately. Freak out and start oh. running this direction in a gallop. Damn! Oh, damn it! There goes that idea. Oh. It was such a good idea. Yeah. The horses had better. Uh, oh, that's oh no! The horses. Yeah. The horses had better. Um, that's going to go ahead hey, and friends. and there go. Oh, Bo, you're right. By the way. Bo. Oh, yeah. Good. Good call. I turn to uh, Jester and Molly. Fucking, uh, we probably shouldn't kill Crown's guard. Even if it's a zombie, should we go after the toad? Um, we should probably kill the zombies because anybody that gets bitten by a zombie turns into another zombie. I don't want to be a guard killer. All right, fine. I don't be a and then, zombie. Uh, we just can't be here. Can I? Do I peek out and see the guard or the zombies? They guard did zombies. run by. Uh, you wa you watch them as you peeked under the tent, and they both just ran to the right. Can I crawl out from under the tent and clear the gap with them? And get up to them. <laughs> oh, fancy. Cool. You can get yeah. to. That's as close as you can get right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can go into a dash if you wanted to to engage directly. But... Um. Yeah, I'll just go. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Okay. It's all right. Work it out. Work it. Work it. Actually, this is this is my fault. What? I rolled for the zombies to see who they saw first, but then the turn hadn't come up yet. That's my fault because their initiative is lower in the order. So we're gonna wreck on a little bit of that. That's still there. Oh, oh. you have to that's that's rewind. Yeah, your initiative was super high. That's totally my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. It was early enough in the combat where it's not gonna make a huge difference. But they, but you do watch as they turn and they look, they look past the direction. They look like they're ready to dart towards the actual large carnival tent. No, I just want to do Hamilton with all our character voices. <laughs> Um, that's very that's different. Um, okay, yeah. after uh, Jester uh, trying to help me, I'm gonna. Can I close the gap to this guy? You can at this point, yeah. Okay. There's two squares to get there. Look at that mini, look at that mini! Oh, you're out there I'm all by yourself! Fuck. It's cool, man. Cut him down with those guns. Um, is that fire? Oh, like, know. is that fire still going? It's, I mean, it's, it's not like a huge blaze, but it's there's some flames in it. It's, it's starting to ember, starting to burn out a little Both bit. barrels. <gasps> yes. Six shooter. So. Give it to him. Okay, can I um, 
with my initial attack as I run up, can I take my staff and try and take him out at the knees? Yeah! Uh, just sure. Just sweep. Sure. I have to go ahead and make an oh, athletics check. Prone? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Like it. Like it. What? Make an athletics check. Okay, okay. I like that a lot. Uh, that's not great. Uh, uh, nine. Uh, roll the natural 20 on his end. Um, so as you swing with the staff, it slams into the side of the guard's leg, and you hear the slight crack of wood as the armored exterior of the zombified form seems to just stand resolute against the strength of your blow. Its head, which was turned off to angrily towards the shadowed direction of uh, Caleb and Ford, <laughs> turns back. The red burning coals for eyes now glaring in your direction. What are you doing? I look at him and I say, oh, you fucking broke my stick. And then I do an elbow to the face and then another punch with the staff still in my head and do flurry of blows. Okay, well, if, uh, you did your one attack to sweep him. You're, it's an, an armed attack for your next two. Right, I know. I'm right. doing an elbow and a punch. Okay, got I'm just you. holding my staff. Right, misunderstood. Okay, cool. go for it. Mm -hmm. So roll for the attack. Two attacks, right? You got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm so Quick nervous. Uh, there, okay, that's good. 19. 19 hits. For the first one. Oh, no, natural one for the second. You guys second. were the walk to start this fight. I don't know what's happening. All right, so, so roll damage for the first one. Okay. You came with too cocky. I know, apparently. Oh, that's, okay, eight. What's new at the table? Eight points of damage. Everything. So, as you elbow across, <laughs> Wham! You watch as the jaw kind of hangs and dislodges a bit, and as its head turns towards you, you reach for uh, with your other fist, and it catches it in middle middle of the air, and it tries to bite at your arm, but the jaw kind of hangs open, not able to actually find any purchase in your arm. I believe that ends your turn. All right, finishing Bo's turn. Caleb, you're up. Oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, I am going to move over a bit towards that carriage, and I pull the diamond out of my component pouch and a uh, small prismatic ball forms over it and I take my other hand and I spin it really fast and little ice shards start shooting out of the side and then I take it with the free hand and I'm gonna throw it like a fucking baseball pitcher at the one closest to Borregat. Right there? Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and roll your yeah. attack on that. Okay. Uh, that is... Uh, oh, DM, DM, Beyond, where did you go? Uh, okay. Ah, oh, that's good, 23. 23 definitely hits. Okay. So that is a cold damage, 3d, eight, two. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> All right, uh, nine total. Nine points of cold damage to it. So you watch as it's trying to like bite, you know, uh, with, with, with no effect towards Bo's arm as she's pulling away. Uh, the sphere slams into the side of its shoulder, be this side, and it pulls back. You watch as the arm kind of breaks a bit, and the ice shards kind of coalesce around the outside of the armor and kind of linger with this frost and uh, kind of mist that sprays off the impact. It looks it looks fairly damaged. And a question: When yes. does do, am I supposed to roll initiative for uh, Frumpkin as well, or does she go? Technically, uh, by the rules, go? yes. Uh, but I mean, it might be easier to have you guys go at the same time. Okay, if that's what you want to do. Sure. All right, I'm sending Frumpkin uh, for to now. We can, we can zip under that tent. He has uh, 40 feet of movement. This one here. Yeah. All right. Easy enough. Frumpkin get. is underneath there. <gasps> What's inside? Oh, you go. Once in the tent. <laughs> the tent. Once in the tent. Fuck it, kid. This is so cute. Is that your turn? That's all. That's it. Yeah. All right. Little like barrels. Molly, you're up. Um, I'm going to burst out of the tent, and can I make it to the to the one that oh. that Bo is fighting? Uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You can indeed. Screw I'm gonna the I'm gonna make it to the one that Bo is fighting, and I'm gonna just take two straight attacks uh, with with my, with my scimitar. Go for it. You see, like half of its body encased in ice now, and it's still kind of lashing out in Bo's direction as you rush up. Uh, that's a 15 and an actual 20. <laughs> okay then. Without even figuring out, uh, yeah. 15 plus whatever. Yeah, 15 plus, and then so natural 20 is just double the die, right? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Come on. Go. Come on, Make Iron up for Snitch. Our which one's which? Uh, first Iron one. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm. Okay. First one is. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's. Uh, six, 12, 3, 40, 15? Yeah, dude. Wait, what? Oh no, double. I have to roll two dice, right? Uh, well, the, the first attack is the, that the dice. So that, that's not the critical. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's uh, six. Uh, that's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. All right, and, and then, then two dice or double the dice. Uh, we'll just double the dice. Oh, it's fine. Right, it's fun dice. to do it that way. Uh, Less dice than roll. Uh, that's thirteen points of damage. Thirteen points of damage. 
<laughs> nope. So he watches it slashing oh. at both. The ice explodes in its side, and Molly Mock comes walking out of the tent, both of the scimitars spinning in his hand like this dervish entity. As he slams both blades simultaneously into the sides of this creature, you watch as he actually cuts a V shape in the upper torso and it kind of <laughs> slips out of it. Man. The actual uh, central portion of its body slips onto the ground oh. with a splat, and the arms kind of fall apart of the side, and the body collapses in the ground. I turn and smile at Bo. Oh! Um, thanks. Did you just cut like a little V cake with yeah, your head attached? A pizza pie, it's a little pizza slice. <laughs> yeah. All right, that, and it finishes. And then, yeah, I right. just I turn 180 and get ready to get ready for the other one. Doesn't make me trust you anymore. No. All right. Kind of less, uh, actually. Which is now it's its turn. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, having you rush out of the tent, its attention once in the distance it <sighs> traces you over as you attack its ally. It lunges over towards you and has make two strikes in your direction. I make eye contact with it. And I'm just gonna. I'm actually gonna burn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Fuck it. Yeah, just for fun. I'm gonna burn my blood maledict. Maledict. Okay. And sure. yeah, I'm just gonna make him. I'm like, there's just gonna be a blood vessel. It's just gonna pop on my neck, and I'm just gonna make him cry. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> the, make him the, cry. The, uh, the, the bulging red eyes suddenly go black, and you watch as thick droplets of, of blood-like ichor begin to spill out the corners of the zombie's eyes. Um, I take three damage. Or are you? Uh, I'm, I'm not amplifying. Yeah, okay, amplifying. cool. So you take three damage. So yeah, so this attack and the next attack he has disadvantage on. Oh, oh shit, no. that's awesome. 16 and an eight for the first attack, so that brings it down to a uh, 12 to hit. Uh, uh, no. No. So as it rushes towards you, you can see the opening as it swings too wide and you just duck right out of the way. The second attack <laughs> with disadvantage as well, it's a 19 and a 16. So 16 plus four, it's 20. So it still hits, still hits. I believe, yeah. That's fine. All right, so the first one you duck out of the way, however, its secondary slam hits you for five points of bludgeoning damage across your shoulder. Bam! Uh, you get pushed back into Bo, and Bo kind of catches your fall. Not the jacket, fall. not the jacket. <laughs> Ow. All right, so that ends uh, its go. Artist not, you're up. Crying. That's still alive? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, not is going to char hard charge out of the tent. Not, uh, not at the... A beast, but ac just across across the courtyard. Not, not at the beast. Yes. Not, not, yeah. Just as fast as she can go, just saying. Can she can she make it to that box? She can't, unfortunately. She that can't. No, it's it's <clears throat> five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Actually, no, twenty-five, thirty. You can get to yeah. right there. Okay, Thank so uh, as she's running, she's gonna fire her crossbow. Okay, go at, for it. At the dude. Um, Eleven plus six. That hits. 17. Yeah. Uh, okay. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, that was a lot. Wow. Your voice just all the side of your voice turned. Wow. If this was Tony Hawk, you'd just be accumulating points still. Yeah. Like, it's just That's wrecking it up. Twilight episode. He knows what's behind your screen. The rest right. of the game. Right. No, no, no. Right. 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 Damage. Correct, as it is adjacent to Molly. Another two points. Okay. Oh, and why not? I'll use Fury of the Small. Yeah! Okay, so it takes another two points. That's a full ten points of damage to it. All right. Yes. And then bonus action, can I just sneak, sneak, or just hide behind that thing? Uh, you can't hide behind it because you have to get behind it, but you can use your bonus action to dash and get behind it. Okay, great, I'll do so that. You're not technically hiding, but you move in this direction. Okay. Oh, that's what Rose can do. They can use their bonus action to dash. Apparently. Dash, disengage, or hide. Yeah. All right, so you can behind it. Oh, God. All right, that finishes your turn, Not That brings us to Jester. You're up. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to sit down on the ground and, like, open the tent. And look out. And look out. You 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 see this this sudden interaction of everyone just uh, leaping to, or at least uh, Bo and Molly leaping towards the standing zombie. And I see. Oh shit! They shouldn't have used all those spells earlier. Um, all I have is Sacred Flame, and I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to shoot Sacred Flame, and at the same time, I'm going to go. Frumpkin, come here, let me pet you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with Sacred Flame, is it a saving throw for the? Yes, uh, it's creature? a 13 dexterity. <laughs> Uh, it actually rolled exactly a 13 with no modifier, so it does succeed. Oh. So, so do you want to, I, that doesn't do any Just damage nothing. then? Well, that, what does it say on the spell? Is it half damage or no damage? It just says that's it. Okay, then yeah, no, sorry. Balls! Shit. Lump it, lump it, lump it. Double check. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that finishes uh, Jester's turn. Ford, you're up. 
Oh yeah, can I fucking run up past the cart? Yes, uh, you can. Let's charge into the fray with my 30 speed. That's about as close as you can get right there. It's can I just... pull out my falchion? You can. Yeah! And I'll flip it over so it's pommel up, <laughs> and I'll use Eldritch Blast towards the yeah. remaining zombie. Yeah. All right, and so as you hold your arm out with force, you watch as the edge of the pommel suddenly glows with this dark, black, purple, crackling energy, and a single bolt of Eldritch energy fires out in the direction. Go ahead and roll for the attack. That is a 14. That hits, go roll damage. Nice. Travis, use the magic. I'm telling you, it's, it's all happening, you guys. <laughs> uh, that is nine points of damage. Nine points of damage, nice. Can you use my stones for You watch as it hits and the armor actually dents inward, to the point where if it was still a living human, it probably would have caused some serious internal bleeding or, or bludgeoning, but the creature seems relatively unfazed by the impact of them being pushed to one foot and then back on its two foot weight. But that ends your turn. I look around and say, we need to drop this fucker and get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> no way we were going to be able to take this shit seriously. I know. Bo, you're up. Back to the top. Uh, okay, back at the top. I'm just going to do. Uh, I'm going to do just with my two handed. I'm going to use my quarter staff two handed and just come down and try and crack it right over his All head. Right. You have to move over to him, him, though, if you want. To. Okay. Can I do step yeah. over the dead guy? Sorry. So you Excuse kinda, me. You're going to vault off of the corpse of the other zombie guard and then leap down with your staff towards him. Go for it. Hold it. Oh, God. Come on, Tom. Uh, Get it. God damn it. That's not <laughs> false. God damn it. Um, 20, <laughs> 13. 13 still hits? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're stupid. Yeah. One bow staff. Fuck yeah. <laughs> If you weren't drinking a sea anemone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so, so weirded funny. out about it. Don't it's 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Yeah. Right? Mm. What? And you slam into it and watch as it kind of. <laughs> it's starting to look pretty beat up, but it's still standing. Damn, that armor's helping it, huh? Yeah. Your bonus action, if you still want it. I can hit again with my bonus, right? Yeah, I'm still trying to every, this every, every turn, every you return, as long as you're attacking with your action, you can bonus attack with your unarmed strike. Right. And then use right. a key point to double to attack do if you want. Twice, right? Learning, uh, learning these combat abilities. <laughs> so it's weird. Yeah. So okay, but I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, die, and I'm just gonna do a big like roundhouse kick to his head. Go for it. Roll for the attack. That's a god, that's Take a 16! Yep. 16 hits, good roll damage. Is that, that's an unarmed strike? An unarmed strike, right? yeah. All right, okay, 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 eight points! That's a lot. Eight, eight points. points. It's a two plus, no wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Six points, six, six points. points. I was All looking right. at the wrong thing. That's okay. Six points of damage, whack! You slam it in the side of the head with the roundhouse kick and watches the neck kind of snaps and the head just stuck there. <laughs> it's trying oh, no. to snarl, Ooh, but you can hear the windpipe is kind of closed off from the angle that it got snapped, and it's making this horrible <laughs> choking uh, sound. I just go, oh, Molly. <laughs> so you casual. It? Caleb, do it. Okay, um, I'm also tapped as well. I'm going to uh, back up against the tent that we came out of, and uh, a sinking pit in my stomach, and my hand starts to blacken and flake, and fire springs from the palm, and then it just shoots, and I cast Firebolt. All right, good roll for the attack. That's cool. Uh, that is a cantrip. That is a cantrip, yeah. That's good, though. That's uh, 17. That hits, good roll damage. So that's 1d10, and that's this guy here that I never used in the last campaign. Oh, that's four. Four points of damage. How do you want to do that? All right. So the bolt slams into the side of its head where it was hit by Bo, and actually snaps it back into place. Um, you watch its kind of eyes lull for a second, and then it comes back with renewed undead strength. Bo just goes, renewed undead strength? Well, then. Undead strength. Yeah. Undead strength. <laughs> renewed in the sense that for a second you watch the light flicker out, but it seems to push through by the force of the enchantment that holds it aloft. Bo just goes, who undid my work? <laughs> Probably have a little bit of movement left. You've got 10 feet. I would like to uh, sidle into the tent that I exited before and just disappear. You vanish into uh, the tent. Frumpkin will dart across behind Molly to the no, other little the tent. Okay, so it's five, 10, 15, yeah. 20. What's the movement on Frumpkin? 40. 40. 40. 40. All righty. That's your turn? Yeah, that's it. All right. Molly, you're up. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna take two more shots. I'm gonna see if I can decapitate. Two more shots? Oh man, I gotta get out of that habit. <laughs> yeah. it's technically, I'm gonna I'm gonna see two if I can decapitate. Two more swings. See if I can decapitate this. Okay. Uh, this uh, two more flourishes. Um, that's a 
Eight. Eight misses. But a 16 does not. 16 does hit. Okay. So good old damage. That. That's uh, let's do a... Uh, nine there points of damage. Nine points of damage. As the blade sinks into its shoulder, and you see it kind of carves in and jams up halfway through the torso, the armor, the armor kind of stopping it part way before it lodges in, and it kind of leans forward. No. It's still standing. Oh. Wow. And the blade's kind of stuck in the abdomen. Renewed undead strength. <laughs> Help. All right, that ends your turn, Molly. Oh man, you're stuck uh, in it. It's going to take its first slam swipe at you <gasps> since you're immediately in front of it. Uh, that's a natural twenty. I'm rolling some good twenties yeah. tonight. What, what, what dice did you use? What, what dice did you use? What, what other dice? No, did you other use? Did you use? Oh, look what you did! I'll bite you in the anus. <laughs> this is not looking good. This you're is looking very bad. Son of a bitch. Uh, Eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god! Whoosh! It just clocks you across the side of the temple. Your vision goes blurring for a second. You spit across the ground, and you're used to the sight of your own blood. But now it's across uh, the the grass and dirt at your foot, and you start to feel yourself get a bit woozy. Yep. Oh, it's gonna go ahead and spin around oh. and strike you with its open claw Ooh, with yo. the other arm. I swear I thought I could kill it. That's gonna be a sixteen to hit. That hits. Oh. All right. Man down. Come on, baby. Uh, that is nine mm. points of bludgeoning oh, yeah, damage. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! 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 So you guys watch as the, as the first hit clocks Molly hard. The second one is just this clawing uppercut that she, ah. he just goes backward, dropping one scimitar, the other one being left stuck in the body of the undead guard as it now glances back towards Bo to its right. <sighs> Uh, it's into Molly's turn, mm -hmm. and the zombie's turn. Not you're up. Okay. You didn't fall into uh, the no. fire, right? No, <laughs> no, no. He fell straight back. That's good. Oh, you're sure. I also, I, I'm, I'm also. One. We talk. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I think I have. I'm, I'm immune to fire anyway, or some such. I've got some sort of fire well, resistance. Yeah, resistance. Because yeah. of your magical technical. Not what you got. You just watch Molly go down. Uh, okay. I will. You uh, see, seeing one of us die uh, scares the shit or out of unconscious, me. Unconscious, uh, but yeah. No, dead forever. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just started working on a new character tonight. Thank God. Um, I start charging uh, out uh, at the at the beast. All right. Um, I get about halfway. Uh, I, f I fire my crossbow. <laughs> <Just screw. laughs> fire the crossbow. Okay. So brave. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Yeah! Yeah! That's monsters all day. Who's making dice? Who's making your dice? How do you want to do this? Yeah! It doesn't even matter the damage you deal. If the damage is from a critical hit, it doesn't get its undead fortitude. So uh, I, I think I'll, I'll just, uh, Sorry, you know, I'm, I'm low to the ground, so probably just, just in the back of the cab or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you and before it falls, I'm gonna turn and run into the tent. <laughs> I don't even know if I hit. Just, <laughs> 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 <and you run. laughs> Molly. As you watch, you watch it turn around towards you. Suddenly, it, kind of, it lurches as the cross, crossbow bolt shatters its kneecap from behind. Its other leg, which had been partially just damaged from the process of getting up and the comments happen, isn't enough to keep it aloft. And you watch as it tumbles back into the fire and just immediately begins to burn as it begins to scream and squeal. It's the flames begin to burn and engulf its body before it eventually it comes to rest, no longer held by this oh. undead magic that keeps it standing. And quiet nice. falls over the encampment. Nice. So, <clears throat> Molly. We got it. Oh. Uh, well, I guess next up, because this, this make this is now important. Jester, it's your turn. Oh, I come running out of the tent. Okay. Say, oh, Molly, Molly. Oh shit. Oh no. This is. Oh, okay. And I kneel down next to him, and um, I'll do spare the dying cantrip. It's oh, a cantrip? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It had it took choice. somebody going in yeah, yeah, yeah. on <laughs> It's designed for this moment. <laughs> okay, literally. Yeah. And so that being the case, you you, you become stable. So as you so you're not you're not conscious yet. Oh. But you're stable. stable. Yeah, you don't have to make yeah, you don't have to take any. No. No. <laughs> Can I try to do some like medicine on him to like you know, does that heal him do you at have all? A healer's kit? I have a, a 
I don't think so. She has desserts? <laughs> I have a dealer's kit. I have, she a has lot, a pastry I have some kit. donuts I and... I have a kit and the... I have so, some paint supplies. So, Bo, as you're standing here, you watch uh, Molly is no longer bleeding out. Um, <coughs> and is just breathing and kind of coughing in the unconsciousness uh, from the pain. Um, you watch as Jester is fiddling through her bag, pulling things out. You have a six pack of donuts, but you don't have a healer's kit in there? <laughs> And you're the cleric? I'm confused. I'm the cleric. <laughs> I'm the cleric. What is this? You're... I've never like traveled with a bunch of people that I thought would die in front of me, okay? <laughs> I never needed the healer's kit before. Well, congratulations. You're the cleric now. <gasps> You have a healer's kit? Oh my gosh, and I'll just, one of these for so I'm long. just going to give it to her here. Whoa. It's a gift. C- congratulations on us. You being a that is a mighty prize. Yes, it's a new group. How do gift. I use this? Oh no, though? she's not. Um, open it and she's like rummage through a bunch of shit There's here. No vanilla extract or like yeah, sprinkles. Like, I'll say for, for the instance of this, um, since it's not necessarily the immediate danger of him dying off, go ahead and make a medicine check. Okay. Uh, use no my pressure. Hacks that I gave you. Tonight. Should I? Yes. What if you die? That's what I'm like, hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a four. That's a strong four. A nine. <laughs> okay, I'll say it's he's still unconscious. He'll recover and give, given given a little bit of time, he'll he'll come back to consciousness. Um, if you have ten minutes or so, you can probably eventually through the use of of strong vapors or, or something, you can you can bring him back from the brink. Um, at, at this point, the rest of the uh, the carnival currently within the vicinity begin to emerge from the tent and seeing the danger is past. Is there any young <laughs> girl in the tent with me? Uh, make a perception check. Oh. Natural <gasps> 20. Jeez Louise. Uh, you glance around the interior of the chamber, which has, it, there's, there's a unique smell to the inside, and you kind of smelt it before, but you would, I mean, it, it catches you very strongly <laughs> now that there, there's quiet and you're not focused on anything else. Uh, a, a very faint smell of brimstone that just kind of lingers within the tent, uh, mingling with the wet grass, uh, and you look around and see no girl. <gasps> but what does happen is Frumpkin scrabbles up your back onto your shoulder, and I'm watching everything uh, from my hidey hole. Okay. Uh, I immediately drop down and start searching the guard. Okay. Yeah, should we should take some of, what if, is any of their armor still usable? Because we can pretend we're guards for some reason. We're uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, the one that he cleaved, uh, the armor is not functional at all. Uh, the other one, the one, the, the last one to die, the armor is still functional. It's dented and beat up, but it's it's still functional. And like you know, there's there's the the kind of the slightly tarnished brass armor, and there's the uh, the red maroon color, and you know, it's like it's like a scale mail uh, chest plate and arm plates for it. So it, it could be used, but it's still a big piece of armor. You have to lug it around or wear it. We still look like crowns going. Oh. Uh, you both do, girl. Yeah. yeah. Caleb and I. We yeah. probably have like a half hour at this point. Maybe? About, yeah. 40, 30 or 40 minutes. We should uh, get out of here soon, though, because really guards could be coming. Did anybody see what happened or where the, that hellish toad went? It jumped off that way. You right. saw it? Uh-huh. Yeah. The, uh, the not yeah. twins who emerged like, um, where are the guards? The rest of them. Are more coming? Or is this all of them? There's probably more coming, I would think. Yeah, we can't be here. Can? We should hide the evidence. What? What? Where? I don't know. I don't know who should run where. <sighs> I just, I have his head in my lap and I'm just slapping his cheek consistently. Is there nothing okay. else useful in the guard Ow. that's like there? Well, I'm, uh, oh, as, as you continue to search through, aside from the armor that seems semi-functional, <clears throat> um, each of them have a basic longsword. Um, One of them has my sword embedded in their chest. <laughs> yes, uh, which can be pulled out. Um, and between the two of them, you can gather about six gold pieces and four silver pieces. Mm. I don't want to get these folk in any more trouble. How far is it from here to the lake? Uh, glancing off to the side, you can see the lake is maybe four to 500 feet to the north. I would say we could drag them and throw them in the lake to avoid suspicion. Carnival, but we got to get out of here. How well did the fire burn the other body? Did it do pretty well, or is it uh, so it's pretty burned? And like, and like I said, the, the actually, yeah, which, which uh, the 
The, the maroon robes on the one that the armor is damaged can possibly be salvaged. <laughs> The armor on one that's burned can be used. The robes or the, uh, the 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 maroon cloth is burned away entirely, and the armor looks like it's been burned. It has blackened charcoal edges to it. Not, not you feel Frumpkin's claws slowly and deliberately squeeze into your shoulder. Oh, that means I have to go. <laughs> Where's Caden? I thought I thought he was with you. He was. I look around for Caden. Okay. Uh, well, based on. If you're right there, you're not that far from the tent. Uh, you go ahead and head back, and you see that he's not—he's not at the outside of the tent. Too much to eat. Um, the the smell of sulfur. Do I? I mean, brimstone. Do I know that it's probably? I do. I figure that it's probably the residual uh, from the the big toad guy, or or is there a substance in the room that is causing it? Uh, make a religion check. A religion check. Yeah. One. <laughs> you believe that the little girl may have tooted before she went to where she is. That's a devastating toot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, kind of try to get get out of the tent through the side, the like underneath the side the towards tree. the horse. Yeah, back there. Okay, easy enough to do. Okay, and looking for Caleb. Okay, you glance over and you don't see Caleb. You do see uh, uh, Ford is in the process of kind of looking in the area. You walk up, you know, Caleb's nowhere near the tent on the outside, you don't know where he is. No. Have you seen Caleb? No, not yet. Is he okay? Did he live? Did everyone live? You've got his little cat right there on your shoulder. Oh, yes, I do. Hi. Yeah, so he can't be far. We need to get out of here. We need to follow after that toad. Okay. There's horses around here. Let's steal them. It's actually not a terrible idea. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Oh, good! We can put we can put Molly on the back of the wagon. That way, we can get them out of here, and the guard bodies too. That way, we can drop them off away from the carnival, and people won't think it's related. Oh my God, you are so speaking my language. I'm yes, a very sir. wise person. That is a great idea. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Now, who wants to help me with the uh, the one totally charred body? I'll do it. I'll go pick him up and just carry him. To the <laughs> and An impressive display him. of physical strength. A little <laughs> adorable tiefling, without an issue, just lifts the body out of the the, the charred bits of, of burnt wood and charcoal. Shit, I never would have known. I grab the other body and start dragging it, <laughs> or at least its torso. I'll help you. All right. Yeah, or Orna kind of gives a hand and helps you. The the the, the not sisters just look like they want to be absolved of this whole scenario, and they look like they're about to flee at any moment. Might I just point out real quick, up to this point, we are fugitives who haven't committed a crime, but starting now, we will be fugitives who have committed crimes. So are we sure we want to do this? I mean, it's either that or leave the carnival to take the fall for what is two dead crowns guard. All right, Leah, let's go. But I have to find Caleb first. Caleb gets over it, he comes out and just starts helping push the bodies onto the, doesn't oh. say anything, but just starts pushing bodies onto the back. Where'd everybody. you go? I, uh, this is not my thing. I am not brave, like not. Um, let's get out of here, please. You, you shot shit out of your hands. I don't think you were not brave. That was really impressive. Wait, you were shooting shit out of your hands? Just fire, it's all right, it's just figure <laughs> fucking shit. Uh, uh. <laughs> I haven't learned that one yet. Someday. <laughs> Somebody needs to grab Molly. He's still over there. Yeah, okay, we go back over and we fucking <laughs> grab Molly. Okay. As, um, as, I grab him by his horns. <laughs> as you're dragging Molly, Molly, Molly your eyes kind of low open. Really you're at one hit point. Yeah. You come to combat <laughs> one hit point. I don't have any horns, though. <clears throat> you're just being dragged. Um, I'll start uh, hooking up to horses. Okay. You're hooking them all up to. Uh, yeah. Well, we have one now. that's going to hook up to the wagon, and then I'll. Or which wagon well, do we want to take? The Ooh. one with the two horses attached. Yeah, we want Jill. the two horse. Can you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll take that one. Okay. So unhook the other horse so we can steal that one and too. Then we'll unhook, yeah. Okay. So um, that, as soon as you guys are doing this, the two the, the two not sisters come talking to each other, look around, and they just go running to the southeast. Hmm. They're outies. They're out. Can I ask, is, uh, is I that... They're <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that single horse a, uh, a Mustang? 
Oh my god. Oh boy. Really? What? Oh, fire. Can I ask? Can I just ask a simple question? We had better get $100,000 from Ford for that one. We had better fucking get that. Sure. It's not a mayor. I just, yeah. I'm just checking. No, no, it is. I'm very curious to the sex of the It isn't. It isn't. Uh, I mean, you. Roll a perception check. 12. No, it, 14. That, that is a must. Hey! Can I? Can I have? Can I? <laughs> With the white one? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Are you going to name it Sally? <laughs> You'll find out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have that coming. Uh, Make a lot. During all the busy work, I'm not saying anything, but I keep giving like worried, stressed glances at my little friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Caleb, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have the bodies loaded up, both the chart and the, the slashed one, onto the cart. Uh, they're easily. I'm gonna pull my sword back out and start getting on up to try and get He's the horses alive. going. You're awake. Oh, it really hurt. How do you feel? I feel oh, terrible. I saved your life. You should be really grateful. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Molly, I, I appreciate you trying to rally the horses right now, but I really think you should rest. No, I'm fine. I I'm fine. I'm actually just going to fall back into the cart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she take the reins. <laughs> All right. So, uh, easily cool. enough to find any sort of material if you wanted to cover the contents of the cart. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys are, are ready to go. Uh, Orna is kind of standing there alone. It's like, I think I should stay here. Are you sure? Want to be a fugitive? I can explain what happened, hopefully. What are you going to say, though? Exactly what happened. Something, the same thing that turned these guards, ran off, and you're hoping to go stop it. Don't, don't, don't say that we were here. Don't mention we were here. Okay. That's. Pretty important, I think, yeah? Yeah, maybe uh, just... We're not supposed to be here. You couldn't, just, you couldn't see us in the low light, but they chased after whatever it was that caused us. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. I can't leave Gustav and Bosun in the prison to take the fall for this. We'll get them out of it. Would right? you have the abilities to burn these things up the way we did? The... You, are you capable? Could you have killed these things? Is that believable for people who know you? I... I'm quite good with fire. I mean, that's not entirely impossible. Or now, is there anything else that you can think of that would possibly help us? Like maybe why this toad decided to freak out right now? <laughs> you know, anything that comes to mind before we go trace after your mess. Any previous episodes of this kind? No. Oh. I never really, never trusted anything that looked the way the Kauri did, but everyone seemed to put a lot of trust in him. Gustav put a lot of trust in him. Toya did. I don't know if this is still a misunderstanding, but I mean, and she kind of points over to where there are spatters of blood in the middle of the grass and the leftover carnage from the battle, and it's like, <sighs> just get this figured out, please. I mean, this is all I have left. And she looks around at the empty encampment, and she just kind of stands amongst the three empty tents by herself, four empty tents. Toya's gone, right? Toya's gone. <coughs> yeah. We'll do what we can. What happened to it? Did it take Toya with it? Yeah, she frogged out. Mm -hmm. We'll try and find some evidence that will exonerate you, and we'll return. We need to find evidence to exonerate us. Ourselves, yeah. Sorry we thought that you did it briefly. Yeah, it's okay. You know. It's hard for some folks to trust uh, carnival folk. Some, just hard for some folks to trust uh, little green folk. <laughs> <laughs> we should really get to step in. Yeah. Let's go. Well. Saddle up. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so you hop on your Mustang. I do, Shelby. <clears throat> oh, God! <laughs> 
Just, really? just oh. deliver it to the P.O. box. It's fine. Everything, you know, it'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> Everything that you've been holding back for years now is just going to come pouring out of you. Just, just, okay. <laughs> All right. You have the cart and the horses at your disposal. Yeah. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna try and take as much of a short rest as I can back there. I'm just gonna try and sleep this <laughs> off like a bad hangover. Okay, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see if we can get to that point. It's like maybe a half, yeah. I will also do the same to do Arcane Recovery. Okay, so the two of you kind of saddle up on the back of the cart, kind of riding as it makes its way northward. Where are we going? Um, In the direction the toad left. North. Are we really chasing the toad right now? Yeah. Molly obviously did the most damage out of anyone, and he's almost dead right now. Well, look, maybe we can at least find him and at least like stake him out, and then we'll like rest. You Bo know? is wise. We are gonna rest, though, right? Sure. Yeah. We can't just <clears throat> chase after a toad. I, we'll we'll die. We might need to just play it by ear. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> we can also. I. Uh... I'm trusting you. Yeah. If it's too dangerous, we'll stand down. How about that? Okay. Also, I have a cat. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> That's not what I mean. My cat, if we find them, if we catch up to them, my cat can follow and I can watch How? over great distances. Yeah, you blanked out there for a second. Yes, so if we find them, then we assign Framken to the case and I will lean against a tree and Nott will keep a watch over me and we will know where it goes. So we're All going. Right. We're going with them then? Yeah, let's uh, let's follow the direction that the toad went. Yeah. Cats love toads. Yeah. All right. All right. I like it. This is a good plan. Yeah. This is definitely not going to backfire. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the horses pick up again, heading northward towards the Ustalak. <laughs> when, when we get far away from the carnival, we should drop the guard bodies off. When mm. we get far away from the carnival, yeah, we, we should drop the guard bodies off. Like, get like a dumpster or something. Like push them out yeah, just so yeah, they look yeah, like they were on patrol yeah, yeah. and they turned into zombies. Yeah. So yeah. far away from the carnival. Yeah. Well, we ran into those guards that were patrolling the lake. Exactly. We could just, you know. Dude, like a lake patrol. Lake sort patrol. Of yeah, lake yeah, patrol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it doesn't take you too long to get to the outside, the, the southern edge of the Ustalak, and there you can see uh, the muddy lake bed that gives away to the water itself. Um, number of scattered stones within the muck, and occasionally you hear like the lapping of the waves from the brief wind, the very subtle wind that's blowing through in the night. It's about two in the morning at this time. There's there's uh, some moonlight in the sky. It looks like a you know fairly waxing moon, uh, at least the one you can see. Is there multiple moons? Um, oh, wait, what? There are two moons in Alexandria, Ooh. but one, one of them is so faint. How did we never know that? That before? was that was established in the last campaign, but it <laughs> never, never looked out. Totally yeah. <laughs> yeah, like dogs, we never looked out. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, but, 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 but one one of the moons is so f- it's case. so faint. How many suns are there? There's one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, there's a faint bit of moonlight, uh, which does give you uh, you folks without dark vision uh, a little bit of. of Detail that you can make out in the vicinity, um, but you come to the lake edge, and there's the water. This is the best we can do for him. We should just kick him out of this wagon. Wow. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to look around. Do I see any guards? Perception check. Good call. Big dice. Don't fail. Natural twenty. Not too long. Ah, okay. Good night. A couple things. One, you don't see any guards, but you do see a few hundred feet. To the uh, west of you, along the edge, you see a, uh, a boat that is about 100 feet out on the water, and you see two figures that are in the boat, possibly two f- fishermen or two guards. You can't really tell from the system, but there are two figures in a boat a little ways out on the water. Um, you also can see the, the water from your current visual perspective. You don't see the other end of the lake. It's a pretty decent-sized lake. Um, but you can see the very faint bump of what appears to be a landmass uh, that breaks the horizon of the water. Like an island. Like an island, possibly, Maybe yeah. Or a, peninsula. Or a, a giant whale. toad sitting in the water. A monster. That would be a very big toad. Wow. Well, yeah. It's far away. Well, it's on the horizon. Yeah, what you get? Yeah, I mean, it just kind of breaks the, 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 the water horizon from here. Yeah. And there's two figures on a boat about 100 yards out. I don't know, it's hard to say. 
Do they seem distracted, the figures? Can I make anything else happen? Lamp light on the boat, anything like that? Uh, uh-huh. there, there's a faint, faint bit of lantern light. That's only the reason you're able to make them out at this distance, but in as much detail as you can make out, they're a few hundred feet away from you. Okay. They can't see, if we can't see them very clearly, they can't see us very clearly. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Well, and we don't gonna, have a light on us. And we're gonna have to ditch this wagon anyway, because we got tracks. Yeah. Just uh, change the license plate, and it's... <laughs> no? Vanity plate? Yeah. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> Back in time. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh man. So, what do you do? Go up a little further away from the boat and then up the line. shallow. Should we weigh them down with something? No, I think we should like. Peep, peep, they, they. It's not like we're trying to hide the bodies. We're just saying that, oh, they turned into zombies around here. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe they chase them out here. It? No, it doesn't have to go in the water, right? They're no, burned. It's not sense. like they burned right. in the water. <laughs> that would be very confusing. It would. We'll be <laughs> wagon yeah. tracks directly to the point at which they're found. That's what I just said. Oh. Ah. Oh, coming from the carnival. I wish I had something to help Molly out. No. We could write a little no. note and put it in one of their pockets that says something like, I've discovered that Caleb are not are innocent and should be cleared of all charges or that something like that. That would definitely that would uh, definitely work. Mm-hmm. Will you add my name to that list? Sure. How do you spell Jester? Like normal. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we could dumble and just try and backtrack with the cart Some and drop the cart back off. With the As we've been riding, <laughs> yeah. Have we seen any tracks that look like they might have belonged to the toad since it was leaping in these huge Make a survival check. Arcs. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Even with your dark vision, it's hard to make out too many details. I mean, there's a lot of foot traffic in here, it seems, uh, along the banks of the river, d- different points during the day. There's not a lot of light. You're unable to pick up any tracks, really. Maybe we dump the bodies, and then I'll get out, and I'll, I'll try to make the tracks go away for a little bit. I'll just like walk up the path and like do like this with the... Wow, we could just get rid of the wagon later. Yeah, but the, the wagon will come from the carnival straight to the bodies. Isn't that weird? I mean, you'd have to erase the tracks all the way back to the... How far back are you willing to go? Not that far. No. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> What's the plan here? Are we going to flee? I think we have to go back to the inn, yeah, right? Yes, because once, once the sun comes up. I, I know, everybody's yeah. in deep shit. I understand their problem, but my question is, are we cutting and running? Yeah. No, I mean cutting no, and running. No, 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 We're, we can't just leave. Oh, okay. We do it all the time. Well... Mm. Let's just see if we can find the toad. If the sun starts to break, then we'll make up our mind. All right. So... So Are we dumping these bodies or what? Yes, kick them out. Oh, out. Kick it out. Okay, Boom, so Jesus. you remove the bodies from the cart. <laughs> Are you dumping them just on the shoreline? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the two transformed guard corpses now lie there. One an ashy mess, the other in three pieces. Um, <laughs> left along the bank of the water. Um, I, look, I get out and I start positioning them like maybe they were having a romantic tryst. Those, those two burnt men? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna help Jester try and clear the tracks while she positions bodies. <laughs> make a make a survival check. Eight. Okay. All right. So you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want to look for some toad prints? <laughs> you know. Oh, if do you we, want uh... us to? Well, we're gonna track. We're gonna go along the the north way, right? Yeah, we've been doing that already. Yeah, if we try and cover the <laughs> wagon tracks as much as we can, and then follow the embankment and try and ride the horses and the cart along the water, it'll hide our tracks as we move northward. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Who are you? That's actually a great idea. Yeah. That's really clever. Why would you even think that? Oh, she's she's all about shady shit. She does a lot of it. Huh. You understand. Maybe, I don't know. I gotta think about it. Go ow! Sleep. Ow! Ow! That hurts. <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! Borogata, the people on the boat doing anything different. You glance back over and you can see the boat seems to have moved a little bit further away and has come up to the bank. It looks like it's kind of hitting land. 
Which, uh, towards us? No, no, a little bit further away, and then just hit the land, and you see the figures are currently like, taking things out of the boat. Okay. They're late night fishermen. Oh, okay. I think they're fishermen. Let's, let's keep moving. Mm. Okay, which direction are you moving? North. Well, north is into the water. Oh. Okay. Uh, like, you hit the water at the bottom wait, of the lake. Away from the the toad went to okay. north? Do Correct. I, can I see Like, straight into of... the water? I mean, that's the direction it was traveling. Can I look uh, for I'm... toad tracks? Make a survival check, sure. Come on, don't roll Sam's fucking dice. I didn't. <laughs> oh, Sam. That was a lot. That happened was a there. whole lot of rolls. <laughs> that was. Ah! <laughs> Give me a good idea. Survival 11. 11. It's hard to really make out what tracks are what. You do see a few heavy impacts in the mud. Um. Uh, some of them looks like it could have been just the bodies being rolled, but not too far from where you are. There's like one big smack in the mud, like something heavy impacted. Lord. Yeah. Come look at this. This is definitely toad tracks. <laughs> in the shape, in the shape that it's in, this print. Are there toes pointing in a specific I, direction? I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look Make at an investigation this. check. I, I'm also gonna Come just. On, well, well, this will break my short. This will break, this rest, break your short rest. rest. I'm just. Like, mm. Come on, be forward. good. Yes. 14. 14. Looking at it, you can see the heavy impact has a few subtler imprints. Um, there do appear to be two hands and two feet, though the, the water has washed in and kind of get, gotten rid of a lot of the details at this point. Um, you can vaguely tell that they appear to be facing towards the water. Oh. Towards the water. So he just. That lump is the toad. Could be. <clears throat> or how many people in the boat? Or it's he's fled to two. The island. How many people are we looking for? One. One and a giant toad. Didn't he leave with with the, the girl? Yeah. Two people. Two people were in the boat. These silhouettes. Do these silhouettes look proportionate to each other, or are they? They look proportionate to each oh, other. Yeah. Does one look like Gorilla Grodd? And the other <laughs> one <laughs> 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 they both look vaguely humanoid and, and, and regular. Okay. <laughs> so which way? Are, which. Way to the fishermen go. Uh, they're a little bit to the west <laughs> on the bank, kind of in the direction of the city. Like, like the city is is west is northwest of you currently. If you were to continue around the lake, um, because the city is on the lake, so we're just correct. around the yeah, edge of the lake. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we should probably keep heading away from the city, right? It depends on what we're going to do. If we're chasing the toad, it seems like we need to find a boat and go out into the water. Oh, so no. we had to board that boat that hit land. Maybe. But Steal if we, that boat? Oh, no. If we go towards the toad, we're going to find the toad. Well, no, we're just going to find the toad. I mean, you said this, and we're camping and, and waiting and resting. The other thing we can do, but it will take some time, need about an hour, uh, Frumpkin does not... <sighs> Frumpkin is a cat, but Frumpkin does not need to be a cat. I could fly him over as well, but I need time, I need about an hour. Or swim. I'm, I'm or swim. actively tracking this creature, aren't I, on a certain level? I mean, if you want to, you can. You haven't yet decided to. I, it, I hadn't really thought about it. That's one of your classes. It's something I can, what? in theory, do. Because you used your blood on it? What? No, I can just, I don't think, I mean, like, this would also break my short rest, though. Well, actually, I'll say for the points of expediency, with the time it's taking you to come yeah. in, you have these discussions at the edge, it's pushing like 2.33 in the morning now, okay. um, and yeah, both of you have finished well. their short rest, so. You can use your. I I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Hunter's Bane really quickly and just kind of look at the track mm -hmm. for a second. And well, uh, are you? You get. You get your blood maledict, and you can use get, your hit dice if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do both of those. I'm, I changed my mind. I believe I used Arcane Recovery during the day, so forget it. Oh, I yeah. think I use it. Yeah, so you can hit dice it. Mm. I bet you have a thing where you can click it on. on. No, at twelve five. hit points, which is better. That's better. There you go. I'm, yeah, twelve. Mm -hmm. okay. Better than one. Yeah. <laughs> one. But I also, um, yay, twelve hit points. I'm also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, see if I can help with the tracking because I'm gonna start actively tracking this particular okay. creature. Make sure to check. Make it fly. A survival yeah. check, which I have advantage oh. on. You have advantage on because yeah. it's a feat. If I have an hour to uh, do some ritual, ritual casting, casting, yeah. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Looking at, at the imprint, you begin to look to follow back the direction of the carnival, and you know you can see the path. It was, it was a beeline towards the Ustalak. Shit. Um, yeah. And looking across the way, I mean, the best you could tell because the water picks up. There's no trail to pick up in the water. 
Um, but looking at the trajectory, it looks like it was very intently making its way towards the water as a means of either avoiding making any more tracks and making it difficult to follow. Yeah, I went into the water. I, yeah. yeah. That's what we figured. <laughs> he's, do you think he's trying to swim all the way to the other side, or do you think he's just going around the lake? We're not lucky enough to have any small boats along the shores that have been... Uh, not near you. There's the, there's the one that you saw that the two fishermen are, are at right now, yeah, and then, then, the then further into the city, the docks, there's plenty of boats that are tied up and locked. Maybe, I have a level uh, two. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. It's a rules question. You go for it. I, I was just going to say, I, I, don't, I mean, even if we find this thing, if we rest camping out, then <laughs> we're not at the tavern. Yeah, yeah, we got like four hours till sunrise. Maybe. Do, Maybe. do any of us know what's beyond? Like, what's on the other side of this lake? Is it a mountain? Straight across. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, the other side of the lake, from what you know, because you guys are traveling southward towards it, um, there's no major landmass on the other side of the lake. It's just open field. Uh, you notice what looks to be some sort of a bulge in the landmass in the center, uh, too large to be the toad, um, but it does seem to break up the <laughs> water horizon from that like vantage point. It could have gone to the island. Uh, I bet that's exactly yeah. where it is. Yeah. We that's are pretty tapped. How do we feel about the knowledge that it's somewhere here in the lake, perhaps, or the other yeah. side, and circling back tomorrow. I agree. At least we'll avoid suspicion if we're at the end. Can maybe we keep tracking it after you sleep? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. Could be. It's not like a mental tracking ability. To be able to see details of a specific type I legitimately of do not know how it works. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I, yeah, I just, like, just like the other tracking, you still yeah. need to have Things to follow. You, right. you can read, you know, uh, damage in the forest to see something barreled through. You can follow tracks. You can see blood splatters. You can, you can, any sort of thing that could give you an idea of where something went that is of those types of creatures. Do I know what he was, by the way? Uh, he was a fiend. But like, do I know, like, if he, if he, like, with the what? knowledge of being a fiend, go ahead and make a religion check. Mm -hmm. And I get, I get advantage on you that. You do thing. actually. Mm -hmm. Religion check. Yes. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Now that they've mentioned a fiend, uh, it seems familiar, but n the most you can get is memory of that you don't quite know where it came from. But this this, this memory of, of of horrible toad-like demonic creatures that exist to the far east in Jorhas. That's as much as you can recall. But you're definitely sitting here now with this memory that comes to mind, going. This whole time, this whole time, this whole time this, this sitting with this. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Rules question. Yes. Uh, Caleb is too fucking poor to change Frumpkin's shape willy nilly because it's ten gold pieces worth of charcoal, incense, and herbs, which I don't have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's a cat for the <laughs> foreseeable future. Do you just need <laughs> ten gold pieces? I need incense, herbs. Uh, and charcoal. Are you saying this out loud? Oh, wow. No, I'm just talking oh, okay. in my accent to you. <laughs> I was I'm listening to this. Um, I reach in, I've got some incense. Do you have charcoal? Uh, I'm sure we can find some. Isn't this impressive enough? I have now. We can get it back in the town somehow. We should go back. We're going to go yeah. shopping at three in the morning? <laughs> no. Technically, no. elements of that guard's body are charcoal now. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> just go back and raid the fire. Yeah. yeah. There'll also be a fire inside the inn, to be fair. Yeah. Charcoals, yeah. it's not like it's hard to get. And you two seem to be able to move freely without uh, suspicion. That's true, you can go shopping tomorrow. I will. Let's go Let's maintain the, the illusion of innocence for the evening. Should we <clears throat> kind of walk the, um, the, the wide cart route off? Back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And leave it outside town. That's okay. where we're making our way back. All right. No shit. <laughs> Maybe give the horse a little spank on the ass and send it on See the See where it goes? I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not the time. <laughs> Shall we? The These twins. That random <laughs> book about fiends has all the answers about the fiend we're chasing. <laughs> Let's go get it. <laughs> you should do that. I remembered. Thank Jorast. It's a creature from Jorast. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Minus we'll see. <laughs> it's God. I'm, I'm remembering something. Oh. Let's go. We head back. We kind of uh, go along the, the lake yeah. and then off to the edge, and then we're gonna give the horses a slap, and send them off past. Oh, okay. So the cart makes its way. The the the, uh, the two fishermen you see are in the process of 
tying up uh, nets and bags of things, and they just kind of stop and watch you guys ride by, go about the rest of their work. You continue with the cart, pulling it up towards the southern edge of where the Ustalak meets Trostenwald. Um, and you can abandon it there, or you can, where you want to send it. You said you want to send it somewhere? And Did, I don't think we would have taken the cart past the fishermen. Or were we going to do that? Just go past we're gonna, the fishermen? Well, we we're going to head back to the village to a good <laughs> distance. How much ground did we cover? I don't okay. know. Okay. So, what are you doing? We're, we're, taking the cor- we're taking the cart back to a distance from the city. Half a mile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and okay. then letting the horses run so that. Uh, I see. Okay. Sending yeah. the track I just, off. I don't think we would have gone right past the fishermen yeah. that were no. like would be able to identify yeah. us. Okay then. Using the lake to hide tracks. Okay. So you guys head the opposite direction then for a little ways, kind of out of the field. All right. Uh, who's spooking the horses? That's your specialty. <laughs> Whack with the stick. Make an animal handling check. Oh, all right. <laughs> please, please roll. <laughs> oh my God. If there's any justice in the world. Again. That's not great. Thanks, Travis. Thanks. Uh, six. 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 Uh-huh. Hit a horse. <laughs> I mean, directly hit a horse. The horse just went. You just heard a horse. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. As soon as you hit it, there's a. <laughs> And there's a split second where you watch its back leg muscle twitch, and you duck out of the way just as its oh. back hooves whoosh past your face. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to walk over to the horses and just, they're trained horses. Yeah. I'm just going to go whisper in their ear and give them a little pat. Make, give me a, make an animal handling check. Mm-hmm. Did you know what it is? He's so good. Um, <laughs> you rolled shit, too. Nine. <laughs> nine. Horses are our new door. <laughs> horse. Oh, fucking shit. Dro- drops a couple of horse apples. I didn't have an advantage on that because I knew the animals, did I? No. Damn it. <coughs> I used thaumaturgy. You knew the animals, but you weren't like, no, the I animal used thaumaturgy animal. and I make the sound of like a predator behind them. Okay, I'll give you an animal handling check with advantage. It's because it's fun. Yeah. I'm into this. Okay, 13. 13. It's above a 10, guys. <laughs> awesome. Level two. Level two. <laughs> this is romper. Room yeah, show. I know. With a crack and a heavy echoing snarling sound in the vicinity, <laughs> both horses kick up <laughs> and go into a full gallop sprint away from the direction of you. The cart <laughs> being dragged behind it. Um, they continue to go into the shadow. You don't know how long they're going to go. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Um, by the time you guys make it back to the inn, those ducks are scary. Um, are you guys being careful? Or are you just walking back. We're being careful. careful. Yeah, yeah. I'd like you all to roll a stealth check, please. I'm, I'm going to uh, use mask of many faces to make myself. Now twenty. Oh, good. Nice. What was that? I didn't what know what that was. Oh, it was a thing. Sorry. Look at all that stuff. Um, I'm going to. Does anybody have shitty stealth? I am not even. I can't even see myself with this roll. I'm like, yeah. I rolled twelve. Oh, okay, well, I was just going to give anybody advantage, but here you go. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> wow, that was bad. <laughs> but it's an advantage, right? Yeah, you roll again. I oh, that's, that's, once. that's, that's oh. great. All right, so. Was that, was that one better? I'm also oh, problem. Problem. 20. Uh, technically, my stealth would 17. be uh, 23, but yeah. 11. All right, that's fine. You managed to make it to the Nestled Nook Inn without any prying eyes or anyone in. <laughs> Seeing too deeply into your movement, um, you get back to your rooms just as the very, very faint, distant change of black night begins to turn to the faintness of blue of morning curling over. So, you guys go to your respective rooms? You yeah. need to take a rest? We should we should rest. rest. Okay. So, you all. Uh, I'm going to dig some charcoal out of the remains of the fire in the common room. I'm okay. Go to bed. Yeah. Uh, you want to watch as you do that, and whatever. Don't thank me. Lovely in. Good night. Thank you. Don't don't get anything else dirty. Um, Just gonna draw some dicks. <laughs> All right, you guys complete a long rest. Yay! So, yeah. Yay. We made it. Back to normal. <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. One day down. We're alive. Like we made Two days down. Take a long rest. Yeah. We, do we reset our max hit points when we take a long rest? Yo. Yeah, uh, your max hit points? Not yeah. your max points. 
I mean, your max hit points are your max hit points. But it'll, right. it'll, it'll auto, re when you hit long rest, it should auto reset. It should auto reset. With oh, D&D I mean. Beyond, it does the work for you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there's like a check, so I wasn't sure if I was going to have a check. Is there a rest button? Okay. There is, there are two rest buttons, Where are they? Liam. They're yeah, down to towards the bottom. The Short rest or long rest. rest. I would play. <laughs> no. oh, I fell asleep in my sketchbook, like halfway through my drawing of the two zombie guards. Making out. <laughs> Gross. Ew. Were okay, they dead? They're zombies, so yeah. Slightly hotter. Okay, that's true. One arm is like off to the side. Way hotter. Yeah. All right. So, um, with full rest completed, uh, consciousness comes to on the outside of Jester's room with the heavy sound of. <laughs> <laughs> Is that our door? Yeah, I, I think so. Hold on, I'm naked. Okay, yeah, hold on, she's naked. Always naked. No. <sighs> Do you want to get it, or should I get it? I'll get it. Maybe I should get it. No, I get it. Uh. I get it. Hello. Okay. Open the door. <laughs> uh, the same two crown scar that had come the day before. Did you come back to play some games? Oh, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, we came to tell you that uh, the, you will be needed to, uh, for. The investigation and questioning uh, within the next three hours oh. to uh, arrive at the behest of the lawmaster. Within the next three uh, hours. At the stockade, yes. Why didn't you just come and get us when you were ready for us? Well, you know, we might want to brush our teeth. Does that and take eat you something. three hours? No. Yeah. Now we have time to. We'll be back we... in three hours. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I miss you already. <laughs> the habit of creeping out guards, I like this. Um, all right, so the rest of you come to consciousness. Uh, you're rested. Uh, at this point in time, it's past noon. It's about uh, like two in the afternoon. No knock on our door. Oh, uh, wait. Well, no, it's these two currently for the moment. Um, oh. Then. Your jury summons is. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was finishing up with them. Do you it's wanna... two o'clock no. in the afternoon. No. You said. Yeah. <laughs> when we woke up. Yes. We got back in the middle. We got We're teenagers. teenagers. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no real I'll, job I'll, here. I'll open the door. Two <laughs> guards are there. Yes. Uh, sorry to disturb. Um, uh, the investigation will require you uh, in about three hours. I just shut the door. Let's <laughs> 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 wait for it. <laughs> All right. So, what are you guys doing? Go down for breakfast? Yeah. Uh, I go down, it's Yoda who runs the place, Correct. down below, right? I find Yoda, uh, excuse me, uh, a question about the town. Um, She's right in the middle of pouring rain. She's like, uh, right, right, um, what do you need? Is there a pawn shop anywhere in this city? Uh, if, if you're looking for, for strange wares in general, uh, yes. I mean, your best look would be uh, burnished biblio. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to talk to, uh, let's see here. Mm. Lockwood General might be interested in buying a few things. What, Lockwood? Lockwood General. Lockwood General, of course, of course, excuse me. Um, uh, which, which uh, that's in the Lockwood then? Lockwood General? Uh, it's, it's about three blocks yes. up north, yeah. We've only been here two days. Okay, uh, you're down here? I'm always with you. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> That, uh, that flask. Yes. Yes. You saw that? Yeah, I did see it. Sorry. No, sorry. I'm not sorry at all, but I have a, fa a big favor to ask you. That's very valuable, what you have. Do you know that it's made of platinum? Well, would I know that it's made of platinum just from glancing at it and feeling it? Looks it looks very pretty. Um, make an intelligence check. Okay. Not great. <laughs> Uh, just an intelligence check. Yes, just your modifier. Eight. It's very shiny. Let me explain it to you. That little uh, bottle is worth a great deal. It can buy you many full bottles of. Uh, no, I don't want to get rid of it. Would you like to trade that for many bottles of booze? Many. Oh, that is a tough decision. <laughs> but this is the only one I have. I only have one flask. We could buy you another flask that can hold 
whiskey just as well as that one. And here's the thing, you know that I was very interested in those books. And we came here for books and booze, and you've gotten a little booze, but we can get a lot, and those books are expensive, and I know that we can get enough money for it, and I really don't feel like pushing our luck with the law here in town and pulling a fast one again. Oh, but it's so pretty. Um, how about this for a counter offer? Yes. How much are the books? <laughs> uh, they were worth a total of 13 gold. Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did she just hand me 13 gold? Yes. I like this better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I take her by the head and I rustle her heads together. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's a good deal. I leave. Okay. <laughs> to find that place. I come uh, with the it. burnished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're coming too. What a good day this is. All right, let's go shopping. Uh, all right, you guys make your way to a burnish biblo. Yes. Um, uh, it is it is open though there is nobody currently inside the interior. As you kind of go to the door, it opens up, and as you see the same cluttered mess of the inside there across the way, you see the tiny gnome uh, fella, the uh, elderly gnome gentleman, who's kind of up on top of his desk, his legs folded over each other, and he's looking through a book right now as he's thumbing through. Hello, hello there, my friend. Just yes. as I said, I've returned. I have what we agreed on: thirteen gold for these two books that we discussed. Yes, okay. Good, good. I have them held right here. And he kind of like reaches back and then has to like arrange himself again. And dies. Yeah. Yes, too. <laughs> <laughs> free, free books. Yes, free books. Free books. Free books. No. Eventually crawls off the top of the desk, gets down there, puts the two books boof, on the top. A wonderful doing business with you. Oh, Slides them forward to you. These are counts. the same two books. Yes, yes, Those are the ones you told me to hold for you. Yes. Oh, I was asking Matthew. These are the same two books. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> the accent is confusing. I know it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all right. I never, I never stopped with the British either last time, so I'm never going to stop them. Oh, I'm so happy, and I'm saying this out loud. It's Caleb. <laughs> Ah, uh, good day to you. Good day. Sure you don't want to. I scoop up not and I just start dancing sure down want, the street sure with you don't want to stay in it, shop around some more, okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> we have plans to make with our new friend. Okay, Let's go get some some breakfast. Some of the aisles a no. little longer, okay? We have a way. <laughs> no hands in your pockets order. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so you guys make your way back as the rest of you have come to consciousness and you have head down to the tavern. Cool. Shut up. <laughs> Why are you guys so happy? <sighs> Good shopping run. Where did you get that in gold? I've always had it. I just, you never, you never <laughs> asked for any. <laughs> Good to know. I don't need to know anything more. I'm just I happy have, that you had it. I I'm collect thankful. collect things. Among them are pieces of gold. I have more. I just squeeze the cheeks <laughs> and I look at my books. <laughs> All right. You made my cheeks all green. So it'll, ta it'll take you a few hours to go through those books. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will start on the one about fiends because it is topical. All right. Um, you begin to read through it in the tavern at the table, or you want to read in your room? Up to you. No, I'm going to read here. All right. Okay. Good focus. Can I look at one of your books? Yeah. Go away. <laughs> is that a yes? You said yes. I, I shove the like book a yes deep to into my belt near my dick so she doesn't want to go near it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dick. <laughs> She's not your sister anymore. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> he gets hey like now. this when he hey now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets right. very, He gets very focused. It's best not to disturb him. Uh, okay. It's an interesting book. It talks about uh, different forms of uh, fiends and demons and <laughs> Uh, the hierarchy of the nine hells. It talks mm -hmm. about uh, myths and stories of uh, devils and demons interfering with the lives of mortals. A lot of it's fables. A lot of it mm -hmm. is um, uh, warnings and uh, things that, that that parents would tell to keep their children from wandering into darkness. Mm -hmm. um, but it does have little tidbits of information about different types, and they talk about horn devils, and they talk about uh, the great and terrible. Uh, Baylor and Pit Fiend, and it seems to be a jumble between both demons and devils. Um, 
Can I look over his shoulder the whole time he's reading it? <laughs> sure, if he lets you. I do not let her. I am in a corner. <laughs> and it's about 2.30 or 3. Right now it's about 3, I'd say. And in the next agree. couple of hours, they said they were a call for us. Yes. Should we go look for the toad? Well, I was going to say, uh, did they come to your room as well? So, yeah. 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 In a couple like, hours. Talk about what we're going to say to them? Do we need to co- corroborate our stories? I mean, we tell the truth. We did nothing wrong. That's, That's right. We were in this inn the whole time. That's true. Yeah. Um, I was thinking that if we get out of there tonight, <laughs> fingers crossed, we should probably think about acquiring some sort of vessel to explore the lake tonight. No, we can no. definitely steal a boat. We know where a good fisherman's boat is. Or I may be able to arrange free passage on a vessel. What? How? <clears throat> I have a little knack with, uh, you know. He was a he was a sailor. On a boy. That's how I met really? him. Mm-hmm. Well, for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty. That's how, cool. How long was that for? Yeah. A few years. Okay. Oh. As soon as Caleb looks up, I look at his book. <laughs> What is your book about? <laughs> oh, this is about uh, uh, Grumpkins and uh, Periwinkles and... Uh, <gasps> Those are my favorite! What is the Periwinkle? Are there drawings of them? Uh, occasional drawings. There's no penises drawn in this book, so I don't think you'd be interested. Any toad creatures? Uh, you do find one interesting tidbit of information piques your interest. Yeah, I'm figuring Ooh, it He has it written down on a, thing? Oh, on a piece of, oh, the first piece of paper of the game. The first oh, piece of paper. Oh. <clears throat> What's it say? What's Things it say? Are getting, first if he decides he wants to share it, yes. it's up to him. Leave me alone, I'm reading. <laughs> Caleb, we're bored. Oh, Tell us a story. Oh, I need like 20 actual seconds to <laughs> see what the piece of paper says. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Are you ready now? <laughs> So, so, Ford, you're you're very acquainted with semen, then, just for having been on the water for so long. Sure am. <laughs> yep. Have you heard that joke a lot? I have. Yeah. I'm uh, oh, sorry. It gets I funnier it every time. Yeah. <laughs> it's all in the delivery. <laughs> it's all in the de- delivery he of the semen. Is what the you're first, telling like, us. The first like twenty times I said it. <laughs> So would yeah, you? Well, thank you. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> do you <laughs> semen have <laughs> cloisters in Trostenwald? Cloisters. Are there clusters of semen around here all the time? Is it too early in the campaign to <laughs> walk <there>? away? And <laughs> 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 fucking saunter away. Saunter away. I'm Lucy Welch. So as Ford slowly walks away from the table, not engaging with your oh, com- dear. comedic advances. Do I remember people talking about nightmares from the past couple of days? Not Leah, but Caleb? Um, no, he didn't inquire or question. And, okay, and I didn't overhear, okay. What does it say? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a chock-a-block with a lot of things. Uh, most of it probably untrue and... and Stories to scare your uh, children, but um, there is something in here called uh, uh, some sort of a demon that is described as being fat and rotund, and it talks about. Um, I mean, this, this is too coincidental. It can't be the thing that we're. What are the odds of something being in this book? And it's what we're chasing today. But this is describing uh, some sort of uh, scaled uh, demon that. Uh, feeds on uh, people in the night when they're sleeping, and it leaves uh, corrupted... Uh, Zombies? Undead corpses behind, known as husks. 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 That is what they look like. They look like husks. They did look like husks. No, we didn't see anybody. But is that how you say it? Does this book, uh, is, it cl- is it of this town, or, you know, like, Oh no! This is this is just it's a general book about general book could be anywhere, anywhere, anything. It doesn't even mention locations. I mean, it's okay. just this is some lore about devils and demons. Cowrie's has been around for a while though, and this is new, right? I would I feel like I mean that well, was wasn't, wasn't there was there nothing? Was that I just well, did you know not, I mean not that well. I mean mm. of of everybody the least. You haven't the, heard the word Nergalid. 
What? Have you? Is that, that, is that, that, that's what people call us. Uh, as soon as he says that, it triggers something in your brain, and, and that kind of thought you had the other night clicks. Like, what? that's what it was that was escaping you. Nurgler. Nurgler. I have heard that word before. Because that's what I'm talking about here. Oh, dear. Oh, why can't I remember? It was so long ago. Oh, okay, so what was Mr. Frogman's diet? Yeah, what did he circus? feast on? What did he, what, what did he eat? I mean, he ate what was given to him. Was, I mean, like, and things we like, ate what we had. It, it seemed like a lizard man, from what you knew and experienced. You know, something. We thought it was fine, though there was nothing real draw to him. You never noticed him eating people before? <laughs> I feel like I would have taken note of it. I, I don't necessarily know I would have commented on it, but I would have noted it. Okay. And there was not noted. Once okay. again, I don't, I have no idea if this is the creature that we're in pursuit of, but this talks about it not eating food, but uh, siphoning the life off of mortal creatures, but not to the point of, of death or harming them. They, they might not even notice that it's happening. Oh, no. <gasps> Did that happen? That's what was happening to Toya, and maybe all of you. It says, it says that this thing has two types of feeding. One is slow and unnoticeable, maybe, and one is quick with uh, much uh, pain and anguish. Does it say anything about it hiding in water? Uh, no. Does it say anything about it liking the sound of song? Which way is Joros? It does not. Far to the east. Is it related at all to the periwinkles that you were talking about before? <laughs> I don't think there's a no, reason. It's not possible he's trying to head back chapters. to Jorhast, is it? <sighs> I said out loud. I think we saw both the, f the fast and the slow feeding method. Kauri was not a talker. <gasps> Does it say how to kill it? Yeah, weaknesses, vulnerabilities, stabbing. Well, most fiends are weak to, like, holy damage, right? Make a religion check. <laughs> Can I also yeah, do that? I'm, I, every time someone, I'm just thinking about everything I hear. Sure, I'll let you guys go ahead. They have a vulnerability to poppy seed muffin. <laughs> <laughs> 19? Hmm? 14? 14? I mean... You don't get the idea that most devils or demons have a vulnerability to radiant or holy damage. Some might, some don't, but you you run able to take a beat on this. And the book you have is informative from an encyclopedia standpoint. It's yeah. you know it's just a, sort of a right. a storytelling and an informative thing, but it's not a catalog about all the aspects and details right. of each it's, creature. Yeah, it's a kid's encyclopedia Britannica, and then sca uh, scan scanning through, uh, I just saw one thing that popped that out. Popped out. That yeah, reminded, you're like, yeah. wait. Khmer esque with yes. uh, with my intelligence score of eighteen and the keen mind feed that I have, could we say that Caleb is a speed reader? Uh, <laughs> comparison to some, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, like you're not you're not Johnny Five style. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's I great. know kung fu, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> believably, believably, not yeah. magic. I don't yeah, eat you the can, book in a minute. You can read pretty quickly. Okay. I'd say. Spend a lot of time by yourself reading. Reading. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. In the bathroom, <laughs> clusters of semen all over. <laughs> really hoping you were going to. Yeah, it was there. still funny when it was just implied. But <laughs> <laughs> you can paint Detail it across it. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Always funny. Always. Zero lid on it. Every time. Tight. <laughs> we're talking about masturbation. I take it off. <laughs> Would you say that Caleb is a speed beater? <laughs> 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 From the window to the wall. <laughs> oh, I wanna. All righty. So, um, as you guys are having this discussion, uh, the two guards that had come in earlier come through the main door earlier than three hours you had anticipated, with uh, another guard in tow. And as they rush in, they glance over the room and see you, and make a beeline to your table uh, in a very kind of huffed bit of energy. Say. Um, you are uh, absolved of meeting this afternoon. We'll pick this up tomorrow. What's going um, on? Wait, 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 what? There have, there have been uh, a series of uh, murders. Um, 
within the Crown's Guard that we are investigating as well. Uh, this will be part of the investigation tomorrow. You are not to leave this in. But we could help. Obviously, we had nothing to do with it if people are hurt outside. Yeah. And, we've and been we did here kill two of them time. already. How are we absolved, but yet we still have to be locked in this inn? You're absolved of, of, of it today. We're still going to come by tomorrow and have you questioned. Um, We've arrested uh, Orna, and we have members of the carnival that have fled that we're currently seeking at the moment. You should pick better words next time that are slightly more clear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll return tomorrow. And they leave in a frustrated huff. <laughs> well, our dude just got freed up. A bit. But they said we're don't still leave. Safe. in this house. You can read that other book, at the very least. I could, I could also, um, so that's, here's the thing about my cat, is, is, is a cat, definitely a cat, but it's also kind of a fey creature, and uh, if I have an hour, he doesn't have to be a cat, he can temporarily be a bird. How, how much did you say it costs? Well, I have a lot of charcoal now, and you said you have incense on you? I go into my bag, and I've got some old, weird, I've got a, like a weird little... You've got about eight silvers worth of incense, no, and that's job. a lot. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's in a very strange, ornate bag that's just covered in in strange gems that's and weird cute. filigree. Does Molly always smell of patchouli? Patchou yeah. patchou oh, sandalwood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, 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 but, like like it's nag champa. It's just yeah. nag champa all over. Yeah, it's it's masking the faint scent of horse dung. Never got shot before walking. What what yeah. else do you need? <laughs> Let it all out. Go for it. Don't hold back. It's my second time to do this with your. Is that a grateful cat. dead bear on the side of your <laughs> incense? Yeah, yes, I, I prefer him. Two years. I prefer him as a cat, to be honest, but, you know, in a pinch. Anything else besides a bird? I mean, any uh, kind of creature? Or? Yeah, well, not any kind of creature, but I've made him an octopus once. There was this one time when. I remember that. Knot was very high up uh, in a burning building, and we had no way to get him down, and. Uh, I jumped onto the octopus and it and it served as some sort of a of a of a landing pad. It killed the octopus, but I lived. Oh. So you can You know octopuses are very smart. I think it's octopus. Well, I mean I didn't say I was very Enough smart. about the pastries already. It can be killed is is an important thing Waiting to know. I, I only mean years. if it's important to you in a moment oh. of danger, I would try to save it, but if that's not important. N no, I mean, you know, it's it it's it can be pricey to, you know, keep bringing him back and all that, but he he, he he's No, you can't kill him. Fair enough. That's very impressive. I've tried. <laughs> so you were saying she's eaten him twice. <gasps> to turn I was him very into a bird. hungry. Was it yeah. Philly? I need about an hour of time. I'll probably I would just head upstairs. Empty I could calories. Yeah, I would head upstairs and uh, I would borrow. Do you have a pot I could borrow? Uh, Yorda is currently in the process of sitting down and checking something underneath the bar. Goes, I'm sorry, what was that? I, I was hoping you had an iron pot I could borrow for. Um, never mind. I'll use the piss pot. Uh, I'll borrow those. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Is We're at that point. To jury rig. A um, how, how much is the? Uh, it's ten gold. I know you're gonna need to, to go out and buy some. That's why I buy some did what before. incense. Yeah, we need. Uh, okay, so this is uh, you know this is a joke. I need to actually go to the incense store. Get like ten gold incense. and incense. Yeah. Uh, well, For there, this plan to work. There is the the remedy store that you've seen before, and that'd be the place to have any sort of incense and or herbal type. I've been to one of these places. It's called Natural Remedies, herbs and medicinal things. It's it's up the street a bit. And do you have? Ten gold. Maybe. <laughs> I have ten gold. You're going through gold very quickly. Or I could just sneak in and grab it for you. <gasps> I could help you. That sounds fun. We're Let's still kind of in trouble with the gold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't okay, want we're, to we're, push that. Let's save our strength for if later. If we have the gold, that's the I safest do. path. It's an, it's an easy. I'm in. I'm in for a penny. Ten I'm going to throw a gold in there as well. All right. All right, so you have 10 gold between nine from uh, from Ford I'll put, I'll and one, one from in. Molly. I want to, I'm in the game. Okay, I'll put one in, then you have only eight. Okay, so okay. eight off. All right, so you have the gold. We'll save for the purposes of, of expediency. It's easy enough to go and purchase the necessary uh, yeah. incense, and it's quite a bit. Like it, it's for, for the purposes of this ritual, which you've done before, it mm -hmm. it's quite a cluster you have to assemble for this. Uh, the chalk's amassed, uh, the other materials you need for it. <laughs> just saw Jester open her purse and here. <laughs> oh. It's like I don't want to know. That's a that's a white brain white brain. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right, carry on. So, 
Uh, you can. Yeah, you can I'm going to go up to my room, and it's, uh, it takes me an hour to do this, hour and ten minutes to be exact. Okay. Uh, but I put the uh, the uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes is important. Clean up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, look at the dungeon master. Up, out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Is that maybe the longest face palm? <laughs> I don't know. You guys have made me face palm pretty long before. So I go upstairs uh, to cast Find Familiar. Right. <laughs> oh, you what, found him. What form? A sparrow. Okay. And with, with that, as you finish the concentration, you watch as the cat form shimmers and condenses into this tiny little cluster of what looks almost like coal before it sprouts wings and lands on your shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry, I know this is not your preferred form, but it's only temporary until I get 10 more gold. So let's go down and get some breakfast. All right. Uh, you guys, after waiting patiently and talking amongst yourselves, Caleb uh, reemerges with the tiny sparrow. <gasps> there he is. Yeah, he lands, he lands on uh, Molly's God horn. Damn it. Right here? On his horn, yes. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, this is, is the his lumpiest name? little bird I've ever seen. He's is his adorable. name still Frumpkins? It's just a bird now. Always Frumpkin, yeah. Frumpkins. He's a little feathery Frumpkin. <laughs> he flits <laughs> over to frumpkin. Jester's uh, horn, <gasps> takes a dump. <laughs> Zippity doo dah. <laughs> I feel so special and blessed, you guys. You look like a princess. Thank you. But he stays there. Yay. For the time being. So. Uh, is this what we're doing? I can't go anywhere. I'm going to be blind and deaf. I have to stay still and safe where, uh, and you know, try not to hit me in the head with too many things. And I, it'll take a while, but he will go off. Well, if you'd like, you could stay at the inn, or we could acquire that boat. And once you're on board, you, mm, we could send it out can. as a sort of a recon. Oh, that's, that's true as well. That's true as well. Yeah. Tonight, uh, or are we going out? Do during sparrows the day? see in the dark? They're daytime birds. Oh, it is daytime that now. It would require us leaving. Just quickly now. before the light goes away, right? Well, we can, if we can send the sparrow out, we can carry him with us if he finds anything. Like I, could have done some, I could have done a bet, but it's too late for that now. A what? A, a bet. bet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bet. Okay. They can't we should take advantage all. of the daytime. Oh, that's fair. right. Out the windows no. as we did before. <laughs> let's 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 let the sparrow see if he can find anything, then we know which direction we have to head into so there's not too much meandering about. You, yeah, can we just hunker down here while yeah. we're yeah. Until, the until there's a direction to go? Perhaps we should go upstairs. So uh, well, you can only room. see through Frumpkin's eyes for up to 100 foot radius. I thought we talked about this. You told me, and if you need to change it, change it, but that I can only control him telepathically up to 100, but could continue to see. Let me double check. I'm happy with whatever your ruling is, but that's how we I, left uh, it. No, I have to recall how exactly yeah, if that's specific, the case, I may have we'll confused. Yeah. yeah. But if not, either way, we gotta give them both. Either way, yeah. we'll let drone sparrow activate. Mm, that's what I base this whole thing. Do we have to yeah. get drone. in disguise again in order to leave? Or we could just try and go out the, the side of the, win the windows. Yeah. It is daytime. So but the wording was a little squirrely. Be a little uh, the wording is a little squirrely. Uh, so yeah, you cannot communicate with it telepathically, but you could technically still see through its eyes, I suppose. So the way I it's worded, it's Give it the way. message, I could give him the command up close to go, but then I can't, if anything happens, I can't If I can't improvise with him, and he just does what the command is. Right, so what's yeah. the command? To fly north to the island uh, and circle it a few times to see what, see what we can see and come back. Okay. All right, and as you go up to the window and release Frumpkin, can we say we're doing this from one of our rooms? So yeah. that the. Yeah, yeah. No, we, yeah. Yeah. Well, we gather in Ford and Molly's room. Uh, it's curious when, when Caleb is focusing, uh, the pupils go to like a, a very, very faint kind of sky blue, and you see flickering in them, though you cannot make any imagery of it. It's just the strange movement within the pupil. Yep, there's um, that bullshit again. <clears throat> he, can't, he can't communicate with us when he's like this. No. no. He talks. He will talk to you, just uh, out of the fucking blue. Can, can he feel us? Can touch him? Yeah. Oh, if I poke him in the forehead. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't yeah. do that, please. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, please. Uh, can he tell who was who did it? No, he can't. He That's can't wonderful. See you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I will tell him later when he asks. Well, okay, but he won't know now. <laughs> As you concentrate. Yeah. 
the bird's eye view of Trostenwald. Uh, Frumpkin carries up high into the air. And for the large lake as it is, you'd see two smaller land masses in the center of the lake. It's technically not north from where you are now, since you're back in the city. It's more of a uh, somewhat northeastern direction. Mm -hmm. And they're both relatively small. One's maybe a few hundred feet across, another one is maybe 50 feet across. It's a smaller mass. Um, watching as it coasts downward and does a pass over the larger one, make a perception check for Frumpkin. Uh, that is a six plus probably very little or nothing, so you can guesstimate and I'll look up Sparrow. Uh, looking at the, um, there is a faint tree line on this island. The island uh, has a few small trees, which is mainly what uh, you had seen during the night when you looked out over the water, Beauregard. Yeah. Um, the landmass was actually the very top of this tree line. It's a small grove that is clustered there on the center of this island, um, but unable to make any of the details other than the tops of these trees, and there's a few spots in between where you could see uh, overgrown uh, grass and general ground mm -hmm. uh, rock. This is the bigger one? The, the bigger one, yeah. yeah. Make perception check for the smaller one. Mm -hmm. Probably oh, worse. Oh. Five. Uh, the other one has maybe five or six trees on it, but most of them appear to have uh, either died or just be standing alone in this small mass. Um, that one looks pretty barren. Even 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 as bad a look that was, it doesn't look like there's anything uh, visible on that landmass. And does it look bolder than the upper? It does. Okay. okay. So the larger one has much more of a, a, a cluster, yeah. a grove. And last question, how would, I, I can probably tell how far apart these two islands are, yeah? Uh, yeah, it, they're a roughly, I would say, 600 feet apart from each 600. other? 600, oh. yeah. okay, so not very, okay. Good. Okay. We're just all sitting around in this room watching him watch TV, essentially, Yes, right? basically. Okay. <laughs> While this is going on, no, can, can, I, can I whip out my little, um, little chemistry kit and just start finally putting together some, some, chem some chemical stuff? Sure, what would you like to make? Meat. Acid. Whoa. Okay. Uh, it requires half a day to make that. I'll start it then. Okay. <laughs> Get in an hour, hour of work. Okay. And so. while he's doing that, I'm gonna take my staff. She's doing that. I'm gonna take my staff and kind of repair where it cracked a little Wrap bit. Wrap it up a bit. Okay. That's easy enough. I'm going take to braid Caleb's strands. hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Braid. braid. I feel that. I know. And it feels good. <laughs> We're talking just one braid, French braid. Like a few little braids, you know, because the hair's not super long. Maybe like one here, one here, and like one down here. Sure. You can't, you can't make me vax again, it won't work. <laughs> make an intelligence one. check, adding the proficiency modifier. Oh, okay. One. <laughs> <laughs> you kill us all. Play Doh, we've got Play Doh. So, <laughs> so, so one. Uh, oh, third one of the night. Jeez. For the for the for the supplies that you've spent, um, you 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 used you've used your one set of acid supplies you had on you, so you have to buy more to make it again. Oh, no. And uh, as you begin to make it, it becomes caustic, and begins to melt through part of your glove, and you immediately freak out. And as you do, drop it, poof, it hits the wood, poof, and splatters a bit, and oh, oh no, to melt through the wood. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was just. <gasps> now we can spy on the people below us. But it didn't go through the entire floor. We're gonna I don't get think. Kicked out. No, no. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not gonna you know, get our deposit. You know what? Back. We'll yeah. move. We'll move the the nightstand over a little to cover it up. Yeah, yeah. No like one will see. Something. Is yes. it slowly eating through the wood? Uh, it is still slowly eating through the wood. <laughs> 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 I just pour some water on it. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> That makes it worse. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, eventually, Frumpkin begins to return, having done Frumpkin's full watch. Better part of an. You know, and and when I see that he's like halfway back, I come out of it. Cause I you come out of it. The first thing you see is all of them gathered around this hole in the wood. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Caden. I, I plant my hands on the wood, uh, on the sides of the wood, and start transmuting it to iron. Iron. 
Okay. Wow. That's not oh, noticeable. That's cool. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, as, as you concentrate, the area in the wood around where that hole is all of a sudden begins to turn darker and more solid. And while the texture remains of wood, suddenly it has the appearance the appearance of like a a dull reddish brown metal. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just mop it up with some some towels and whatnot while while it's still iron. Hopefully, it will dry. I... That is a hell of a talent you have. That's pretty fancy. Uh, is that what you did with the coin? Is this the oh, coin trick? Oh, no, the coin was magic. It was a magic pot that we sold you. Oh, man, I've been concentrating on skinky doodles all day. <laughs> <laughs> that is your power word. <laughs> Mom. All right. Sorry. It's fine. Sorry. 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 But it brought us closer together. <laughs> <laughs> would you like back? You look the, beautiful. Would you like back the oh. two copper pieces you gave me for the pot? No, you keep it. Thank you. I'm a very generous person. <laughs> Can we ask what you saw? Oh, of course. Sorry, uh, acid wood. Um, yeah, there are two islands out there. There's a bigger one. They're not close. A smaller one. Uh, one is baldish, a couple of trees, but uh, I couldn't see too well on either of them. The bigger one is dense with uh, with trees, and I, I didn't see, I didn't see them. Did you have it fly down closer so you could see better? Uh, I thought that he would be able to see from the air, and I thought that would be safer, so no, I'm sorry. It was a busy water, there was lots of chips out. You would have t I would have seen yeah. that. Uh, yes. have seen yeah. ships. There, there are some fishing vessels out there, and there are a number that are still at the docks. It's not like a lull for any reason. No, it's not complete weak. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we should go to the Big Island. I think that the chances of finding it on the Big Island are greater. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, out the window, shall we? What time of day is it? Uh, by now, it's like three thirty in the afternoon, four o'clock. Wait till like dusky time. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Wait till the sun go, starts to go down. Yeah. Because yeah. it's got to be soon at this point. Actually, probably closer to five at the time that you spent with Rumpkin. So it's it's okay. it's starting to get closer okay. to dusk. Okay. All right. Does anybody else want braids in the amount of time we have to wait? Ooh, yeah. Will you give me just kind of like one going back this way? Of course. Of course. Yeah, I Thanks, totally man. That. Thanks. Is anyone else uh, going to be heading out the front door besides Caleb, not myself? I don't want to waste a spell this time. I think that's smart. I'll keep with you. How far away, roughly, was the edge of the lake and uh, and the islands from where we are right now? Uh, from where you are right now, uh, I'd say a mile and a half. Okay. Uh, okay, so while everyone is preparing, I take out my spool of silver thread and I go to first to uh, Chester's room and I stretch the thread across and a little <laughs> flashes across and the thread disappears. And I do the same. It takes about 10 minutes each time. I do the same <laughs> on Ford's doorway, stretch across. <laughs> so if uh, anyone goes into these doors besides you, I will know, but not when we're on that island, only on the way there. Okay. Lasts about a mile. That trip. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Also, while we're getting ready, uh, Molly, <clears throat> I don't know if you unintentionally dodged the question last time or if you just didn't hear me, but you never exactly told us how the circus creates and writes their performance acts. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. It's. Oh, so you did hear me, though. Uh, yeah, we were in the middle of things. Just clarifying. Uh, it's usually Gustav. If somebody's got an act, they show it off. Gustav figures out how it's going to work into the narrative, puts it all together. So you bring your own narrative. We bring, we bring, you bring a bit, all right. and then the bit is f shaped and formed by the director of the show. Whether or not if you can do a thing with fire, you can do some juggling, and then they figure out how that's going to work into, anything, into everything and where it sits and what kind of costuming. The whole thing is just, I mean, it's all, it's all an act, mostly. So mostly an act. did Toya and Calorie come together with their act? They came separate. 
They what, came separate. What is the... Oh, you're thinking of 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 uh, uh, of uh, Kari and uh, and and uh, yeah, Toya and Kari. They were they were an act before. I, like they were an act for as long as I can remember, right? They were as long as you remember. Yeah. Yeah. I've never they... not known them as an act. I thought when we talked to them, they said that that Toya came after Kyrie. They joined the circus at separate times. That's what they told you? Mm -hmm. When we were right. investigating, we, we were... We gave them a hard, you know, what was it? Bad cop. Yeah, good cop. Or I was the good cop. I was the bad cop. Yeah, and we got... <laughs> Hard information from them, and then, you're not leaving here yeah. without telling us the truth. Yeah, and I was like, "Don't worry, she won't hurt you. I'll be really." I'm good. crazy. Yeah, I'm and then they just you. messed up to everything, and they were like, "We're a fiend," and she was like, "I'm a little girl." Yeah, it was crazy. That is how it went. She confessed to being a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have, I'm sure. Do you have yeah. any empty positions at the circus for these two? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like maybe maybe that might be a thing. Uh, and tea leaf, you said it's mostly an act. What's the not mostly part? Well, I mean, everyone's got some weird. We're we're weird people. You you people we're, we're people come in and you're a bit strange. You've got something you can do. Are they all swashbuckling swordsmen like you? No. <laughs> can they all tell fortunes like you? No. Do they cut themselves like you? Oh, uh, well, that's a that's a complicated conversation, but no. Hmm. So, you guys are super easy to lie to. No offense <laughs> or anything. So they lied to them, which means... No, they didn't lie to us. We meted out the us, truth. They told us the truth. We cracked the case wide open. Yeah. She is a little girl, to be fair. Not? The Toya. 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 Uh, Unless, and here's my new theory. Okay. The big frog man, mm. say, you said that he can he can leach the life force from people? If, if that's what it is. I think yeah. that's what it is. What if Toya is a fully grown adult woman, but he's been slowly leeching so much life from her that she's a small husk? Toya's not a fully grown adult woman. She's a tiny, Full-grown person. Wow. She's a dwarf. And that's why, that's why she... Oh, she's just uh, a dwarf? Is she a full-grown oh, Okay, dwarf? that makes more sense, actually, <laughs> when you say it that way. For God's sakes, people. It just seemed like she was shrunken down from magic. I don't remember her voice. That's was like so a offensive. Horse. Perhaps this girl, Toya, is his baby's bottle, and then once in a while he wants an extra snack. I've never seen him, but... I, well, I, th I think you're right, but I, I, I don't know how he's managed to go this long. Like, why, and why now, and why in front of all those people? What if That's he's weird. Like one of those creatures that lives on the bottom of the sea, and she's not actually even a person? She's just like this light thing one that dangles in front of One of his tentacles! One of his tentacles! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has tentacles now. Not just tentacles, dwarf tentacles. Fucking anime actors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I think, I think we is, know all we need to know. <laughs> I think he is Let's a fiend. Roll out. fiend. I think he is feeding off of her. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The rest of it, I'm not sure. I mean, you never noticed Toya acting weird. You were never like, oh, this is a strange. Us. We're all a bit weird, and you don't ask a ton of questions. Yeah, but there's a difference between quirky weird and, oh, I think this person's life force is being siphoned away from them weird. There is, and it's the difference between being in a carnival and not being in a carnival. Then why were you with the carnival? Because I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. That really tracks. <laughs> I'm, I mean, it's it's putting together. I, he was he was he was never that talk talkative. He was never. I mean, I don't know. I don't like it. What are we doing? Let's go find yeah. a damn toad. Can I use Masked Mini Faces to change into that older gray haired farmer? Sure, yep. easy enough. Uh, the sun is close to setting. Uh, I think I've got another 30 minutes or so before it sets. Let's go. All right. On the way out. Bless you. Goes in tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the way out, I'm just going to grab some uh, booze from the bar to, to fill up my platinum flask with, or to fill it up a little. Okay. Uh, we'll say for that, yeah, that'll run you so about. Let's see. Fine liquor, about two silver pieces. Great. I'll mark it down. It's a hefty flask, too. Using D and D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> mark that bar tally. All right. Uh, 
I did. Liquor refilled. You go towards the window. You all gather and glance out, and in the alley below the inn, oh, no. at the edge of the alley, is a station crowns guard that hasn't there before. Um, immediately get the sense that the sudden murder of two crowns guard being discovered in the vicinity, they may have beefed up security a little bit. Ah, shit. Only one of them, and is guarding kind of the, the, the alley's exit onto the main street, and they're kind of looking away at the moment, out under the road, but occasionally glance over their shoulder into the alley, but there appears to be a little more of a security setup. Maybe you should go out the front and talk to him and distract him so we can sneak out the window. I can do that. Yeah. Sure. Do it. So I'll, uh, <laughs> do you want to come along on this little escapade? Yes. I'm a good talker when I have to be. As am I! Mm. Well! <laughs> not for this. I'll keep lookout. I am not the right kind of talker for this. Fair enough. Mm. Uh, so I'll, I'll head out the front. Okay, you exit without issue. Can Make I locate here. the crowd's guard? Easy outside. enough, and as you exit the, the tavern, you can see where once there were two guards kind of sitting in the front, there's now three, and there are uh, two guards stationed across the street. That are keeping a watch. That it looks like everyone's kind of on high alert since they've had some of their own crowns guard killed. <laughs> um, but yeah, you make your way around the corner uh, through the T intersection to the other road that kind of meets with the main uh, the main street that crosses in front of the, the nestled nook, and you see the guard that's stationed at the outside, who's currently kind of leaning up against the wall, arms crossed, just looking back and forth. Can I run up to him and say, "You please uh, uh, over here! I've seen one of those creatures." It's tearing into him, and it's horrible. Please uh, come quickly. The minute he's distracted, it's make a deception check. Oh yes, here it is. Come on, Cariz. Uh, fitting. Fifteen. Fifteen. He goes. Uh, uh, which way, please? Uh, point and show me. This, this way, quickly, please. He goes and, and, and gra grabs his blade and draws it out and kind of gives a sh <laughs> jump after. Him. Uh, the rest of you guys make your way down quickly outside into the alleyway. Um, make a stealth check. <laughs> Uh, I'm so scared of rolling right now. No. I know. <laughs> why does every roll have to be? Oh, oh thank my God. God, oh. why? Oh no. <laughs> oh, we're we're fine. We went on the Yeah, right. so you're fine. fine. Nope, it's That's a, a one. Nordic, Nordic seven. No, no. <laughs> Eighteen. Twenty-one. I we're, we went off the front. All right, you guys. What's going on? I don't right, know. All right. You know, if it's binary, one means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> between the three of you making the check, that's still a majority success. So, oh, oh wow, the DM is kind. But you do you pop your ankle kind of when you land. Oh, you your don't, ankle. A little sprained don't, ankle. Make don't fight it. After don't fight it. Just was kind <laughs> to Sorry, us. you're right. I was being kind. Um, uh, you, you, you sprain your ankle a little bit as you land and kind of like, and kind of hop behind. But the three of you make your way past the alley without issue. Does she have disadvantage on all checks for the next two days? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Christ. Well, this is why we don't That's have to be rule. This ankle is affecting my wisdom. It's changing my family's history. Oh. Dungeons and Dragons is about punishment. <laughs> All right, so the three of you dart on the outside and make your way down uh, the alley behind what looks to be a cluster of um, empty rain barrels that are set up to catch uh, during storms. And uh, you appear to have managed to just avoid the sight of the guarding crowns guard on the outside of the inn. Caleb, not what are you guys doing? Uh, we are sort of scouting the way nonchalantly, I would imagine. Okay, there. are you guys? Are you going? Okay. Well, you're. Huh. Oi, huh? I'm real. I'm with you. <laughs> so they they darted off into the alley. What are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, we can just make our way to the outskirts of town. I said that I would be on lookout duty, so I'm just peering. Wait, oh. they went to the alley to go. Uh, while he was distracting him, you saw the guard leave and mm -hmm. with uh, yeah, we'll go forward, with, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can make your way down. The no, we can stay in the open. I send uh, Frumpkin up into the air over the party. Okay, hundred feet in the air. All right. So, so we're just going out in the open to the water. Yeah. We can also follow the okay. bird. Great, we'll do that. Yeah, I was gonna say, why don't you guys lead the way and you guys give us a little signal if you guys see a you guard. Are there. Mm. What the fuck? You haven't caught up with it yet. They're still out in the open. I miss the earrings. I know. I know. The no, I uh, it. So I do a little <coughs> take your hand, <laughs> and I'm watching them from above. Okay. So with that, you. I'm uh, guiding him along the. Okay. So path. the two of you make your way towards the dock but slowly. I'm, I'm totally acting like I see everything. Right. I see everything. 
I have um, uh, my hood shades. up. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm over Okay. Should we get the birdies walking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> looking around and nothing? Yes. You guide for two and a half blocks, and the guard's still like, where is it? I kind of look over my shoulder and keep kind of running, and they go, hey, what do you want? What are you, who are you? What are you? Why are you following me? You called me to, you said there was one of them. Have I done something again? Oh, uh, have you seen my son? Yeah. What's your name? You're a strong looking. Sheathes the blade. Oh, dear. Son of a. Do you have any coin? <laughs> Badass. Like, walks up and then slaps you across the top of the head and just goes, Don't go wasting our time. I'm sorry. No respect for the elderly, apparently. <laughs> and I just fucking walk away. <laughs> Spits in the ground towards you and turns around and heads back to his post. He was, yes. Uh, well played. Uh, uh, Sounds good. Uh, all right. Make my way towards <clears throat> the docks. Okay. Uh, you all manage to slowly make your way towards the outskirts of the Usta Lock down to where the majority of the docks are set up on the lake itself. You can see a lot of the boats since the, since the lights have gone out. Most of the boats have now come back in. And uh, they're bringing their hauls out. Some of them have, you know, small nets and baskets filled with fish they've caught while they're out there. Uh, small crustaceans. Most of them are in the process of just offloading and locking up and tying up their boats. Um, what are you guys doing? I think perhaps the best thing to do is to rent a boat, not steal a boat, cause alarm here. You should talk to people. Well, actually, I think we may be able to avoid any kind of trading of currency. Uh, yeah. You know. What's your idea? Let me see if I can find a boat that would accommodate all of us and see if we might find some amicable people. All right. Um, as a sailor. I'm going to go with Blake. <laughs> apparently, I'm able to acquire free passage on ships. What? Ooh. You are. Oh, wow. What? That's so, so cute. You, what? You walk up. Uh, there is <laughs> there is one. To talk the talk and yeah. maybe trade something. But One, uh, one, one of the larger f- fishing vessels that can carry a group of your size, as well as a couple of others. Um, has already been pulled in, and most everyone's been loaded off. You can see there's uh, one gentleman in kind of his uh, mid 40s, a little bit of, you know, five o'clock shadow on his chin. Uh, looks to have like a small scar across the bottom of it. Um, he has like a heavy knitted cap that's kind of folded back onto the top of his shoulders, and a long coat. And uh, as he's standing there, he looks over at you and watches you approach, and kind of taking the rope and tying it around the edge. Hello there. Uh, I, I was hoping that perhaps I, I could trouble you. We're, we're trying to make our way out into the, the lake. Uh, some of my companions and I, for a, a small day trip, we see we've never quite been out on the lake. Th- not this one. Is there a chance we could trade some some work on your day's journey for some travel? Well, I mean, it's, if you're uh, if you're looking for just someone to take you around the lake, I could do that for a bit of coin. Sure. I'm sorry, we're, we're a bit light uh, on coin. Uh, is there anything that perhaps we could help you with around here in, in trade? Kind of glances at your hands as you're talking. You're like a hard worker. Indeed, many years of my life. Where are you from? Fort de Mali. Oh, so you've uh, been a ship hand before. I could see the cracks in the fingers. I never go away. <laughs> Looks at his own hand. We're just looking for a joyride. Yes, and it would help me look a bit more impressive in the eyes of my younger comrades. <laughs> so you what? I'll take you around. You get a bottle to take more out there. Call her even. Much obliged. All right. He goes and starts getting the boat ready to go back out on the lake. I'll walk back. It fucking worked. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool, Gramps. Hey, thanks. <clears throat> thanks. <clears throat> we should go. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, he's getting ready. He, the, the trade was to bring a bottle. A bottle. Right. <laughs> uh, you don't happen to carry any uh, fine fire whiskey on you, do you? Nope. Right. If we I gave you some, alcohol. if I gave you some money, could you go? Uh, Pick us up a nice bottle of some stuff. Yes. I don't trust you. If I gave you some money, yes. could you? Okay. Yes, you can definitely. I don't trust, trust you me. either, Come Bo. On. Yeah. I'm gonna give you three gold. That's too much. But 
So I get to keep the change? No. Damn it. I'll be right back. <laughs> I go get two bottles. Two one bottles. for him and uh, one Well, a bottle of fine wine runs you about 10 gold pieces. Whoa! Um, a bottle of basic wine basic. gets you about a gold. Some it's, box wine yeah, shit. Yeah, this is some, some two-buck two buck chuck style wine. Yeah. yeah, can't come back with 10 gold wine if I said I was broke. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> two gold gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you manage. To, you spend the gold, and you get a, a bottle of cheap wine. Okay. Make your way back to the boat. Can and I pull for the side while she's off doing that? Yeah. Lord. Yeah. That that voice you were doing, it almost sounded like you actually did import the molly. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 I mean, I like that voice. I like this voice too, though. Oh well, I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I'm kind of partial to it to myself. Yeah, I like it. Thanks. You can keep doing it. All right. As you as you return with the bottle, you all get onto the boat. Uh, the the older gentleman, as you all get on, introduces himself. I, uh, I'm Noah. This is my vessel. I'll take you where you need to go. Now, if I can ask where you're uh, headed. Want to just do a pass on the lake and back, or? Caleb, where are we headed? Oh, um. Wait, uh, are you still in bird no, mode? No, no, no. Okay. That ended. Uh, there's, uh, we hear that there's beautiful islands uh, out in the middle of the Ustalak. As he pulls the rest of the rope in, as you guys are on board, he kind of stops. Beautiful. They haven't been on the water much. <laughs> An island to the eyes of someone like him would I've, appear. I've never seen a lake be yeah. before this one, so first island, it's a very big moment. He goes and gets his paddle out and begins making his marks. Well, there's only two islands out there. One's a piece of shite and the other's Crooked Stone. What's Crooked, crooked Stone? stone. Uh, crooked Stone used to be where an old witch lived about a hundred years ago. Uh, <gasps> no one goes over to Crooked Stone. <laughs> well, no one goes to Crooked Stone. Yeah. That is our siren's call. And did you say piece of shite? What's the name of the other one? Well, it doesn't really have a name. It's too Which small. Which one? We, oh, so the big one is Crooked, crooked Stone? Crooked Stone, yeah. So that's where you're going. I mean, that sounds like fun, right? Yeah, you guys aren't actually afraid of He puts of the oar down. No air raider. <laughs> <laughs> you monster! <laughs> you ruined it. Fair be it to me to judge. It's a crooked stone, then. He picks up his oar and begins paddling. Tell oh, me more about this witch. I don't know. Probably died many years ago, and no one goes around saying it's cursed land. You see it for yourself soon enough. Did did, did she have a wart on her nose? Probably. Yeah. Don't really deal with witch folk. Did she wear a hat? Like a I pointy so. one? And I would expect to such. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Takes another swig as you guys begin to make your way towards the center of the Ustalak. Can I put an arm around Bo and have her come to the front of the boat so we can check out the waters as we're going, just for anything that might be? Sure, both of you make a perception check. Please. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled as well. Sure. I'm going to draw witches in my sketchbook. What the fuck is shit happening? Motherfucker! I, I actually tagged along with them. Okay. okay. So it went well. I'm drinking tons of whiskey because I'm super scared to be on the water. <laughs> Eight. Okay. For, for future note, if everyone's gonna make a perception check, we may have a few folks, um, you know, take helmet and other people aiding their role with advantage, okay. just so we don't end up having like a, sure. a barrage of perception. Like, they failed, I do it. They failed, I do it. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. Because that gets a little lame. Um, all right, so as you guys keep watch over the edge of the water, heading in as the sky darkens, heading towards Crooked Stone, the island in the center of the Ustalak. Prepare yourselves for whatever you'll find there. And we're gonna go to break. Hooray! Hooray! Crooked Stone, here we go! It's, it's uh, time. Stone. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick uh, uh, 10 quick, minute break. Quick, yeah. quick. Uh, roughly, yeah. we're gonna try for 10 minutes, so we're gonna get a little, little bathroom break. We'll be back here shortly. Uh, make sure to stick Crooked around for stone. the video at the break Crooked in which we have stone. our Wormwood uh, contest to uh, win some awesome Wormwood stuff. So uh, keep an eye, we'll be back here in a little bit. Oh See you gosh. soon.
Ford's gonna go down. Hey, Critters, as always, thank you for supporting our shows. It's time for tonight's Twitch chat giveaway. This week's gift from our friends at Wormwood Gaming is this Cherry Complete Dice Tower System. And the code word is mystery. Remember, only to type it once or you will be disqualified. Good luck and congrats to the winner of my cherry wood. Thanks again for watching and stay turned, my friends. Hey everybody, I'm Will Friedle, and if you watched the first season of Painters Guild, you know how much I learned about painting miniatures in a very short amount of time. Well, you know what? We are back, and I can promise you in season two, we're gonna be learning all new things from a whole bunch of new teachers. Don't hold your breath for too long, pass out. This is your first magic chicken hut. We'll never yank on another man's minute. If you don't get that perfect touch, he's gonna leak. Perfect. That's the last time we'll hear that word. As well as some returning old friends. Clothes might be optional, but the paint is required. Who told you clothes were they, optional? The wardrobe. We're gonna be learning new techniques entirely. We're gonna be building minis from the ground up. We're gonna be doing scenery. It's nuts, it's frantic. Be as messy as possible. This is the lesson we've been waiting for, kids. I'm a professional mini. -manager. You are, Thank we'll you. get you there. I can see right through the camera to you watching at home. Cover Wait. up what you just did. Uh -huh. Yeah, I still have a lot to learn. Whew. Painter's Guild, season two, premieres January 8th, only on Alpha. My name is Kevin. Hi, Hi Kevin. No, this isn't that kind of thing. You might know me as, as the lovable Kevin from Darren and Amy have to do a morning show. Or, or not, you probably don't, and if you don't, I'm, I'm, I'm Kevin. I'm, this is stupid, this is a bad idea. So although Darren DePaul and Amy Vorpal have fulfilled their contractual obligations to do a morning show, we, the crew, are all obligated to continue on. We still have to do a morning show. Why? Because we have to, Chris. However, due to recent budget cuts, we only have to do this morning show every two weeks. And that's, that's also known as a fortnight. For those that don't know what a fortnight is, it's two weeks. In addition, we have also been tasked with providing promotional material. This promotional material must feature full programming info and a cameo from a known GNS personality. Hey, Marisha, will you come over here for a second? Why? Just stand there, please. Just stand there. Don't say anything. I'll explain it later. Hey, Shields crew! I'm excited to announce that Geek and Sundry, in their infinite and glorious wisdom, has given me my very first show as a host. Behind the Shield! I'm excited! I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, I'm excited! I'm excited! I'm excited! Sam, I'm excited! Sam, I'm excited! Sam, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, we, yeah. don't, we actually don't have a lot of time, so if you could just do the oh, tel yeah. teleprompter thing. Oh my gosh, yes, totally! I'm so sorry! No, no, Absolutely, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. Behind the Shield is a 30 minute after show that will follow Shield of Tomorrow every Friday night exclusively on Alpha, and I'm just, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh! Gosh, no, I'm excited, no, no, I'm excited, no, 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 I'm excited, no, 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 no
hungry. Hi. Uh, so that's the show. Um, that's how you, you tie a tie. Thanks for watching. And next time, we're gonna learn how to build a flamethrower that can burn ties with nothing but a flamethrower and a lot of fire. Man, I'm sure got some issues. <laughs> If you want to see the full episode of Thrashtopia, which features a visit from my friend and super host Mod Garrett, be sure to type your fingers to projectalpha.com. Mod has a lot to teach us about the origins of Metacris, as well as the ecological benefits of destroying technology. Wow, I bet you can't wait to see that! Ever wish something terrible on one of your relatives, but don't know how to say that in real life? Do it with these cards with You've Got Problems by Jack Dyer Studios. This game is super simple and is awesome for parties, especially around the holidays. All you do is choose one person to be the judge and everyone else is going to draw cards. Three from the perk deck and three from the problem deck. Each player chooses two perk cards from their hand to play for the judge, such as you get VIP treatment everywhere you go and you can remove ads from your life entirely. Pretty awesome. After each player has laid out their perks for the judge, each player will then lay out a problem card for another player. You can never turn left again? Horrible. This may or may not deter the judge from choosing that life. Once the judge has chosen one of the player's hands, then that player wins and gets to keep the problem card around to represent one point. After a point has been awarded, the judge moves to the player to the left and everybody else draws up a new set of three perk cards and three problem cards and you repeat this process. And that's You've Got Problems. I'm Becca Scott and you can watch lots of games being played on Game the Game. You can see that on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry or projectalpha.com. Keep playing games!
get you guys back one of these days no, real hard. Don't poke you already do. Don't poke Did that make time. it? <laughs> no, I never broke out. That was a nuke. So welcome back. <laughs> I was really, I was really expecting more. Yeah. All right, so uh, our winner of of the the grandiose collection of of wormwood uh, uh, elements is Kohler Art. K O E H L E R. Art. Congratulations, what? you're the winner. Uh, Don't know what will contact you and get your information, but uh, oh, no. that's a pretty nice, pretty nice win on your part. Um, we'll have uh, oh, next week another giveaway, I so look forward to that. As I wooed. <laughs> you spooed. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't I didn't do that. even think that. I don't even know how you did that. All right. Okay. So, okay. the sun has set as you guys approach the outer banks. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> of the Crooked Stone Island in the center of the Ustalak. You can see the grove, a clustered uh, central conglomerate of trees that all create this kind of mound of brush that now that you're up close against it, you can see the bit of moonlight that's starting to come over the horizon uh, dancing across the upper part of the canopy. The trees at most are about 15 to 10 feet tall. They're not incredibly huge. Um, some even maybe hovering around the five to 10 foot range on the outskirts. How tall was the lizard man? Uh, he was uh, about maybe eight foot tall, hunched forward. Okay. That's big. Um, <laughs> as you approach the bank, you can see already there's a lot of uh, heavy rocks. This is not a soft, uh, muddy embankment like the outskirts of the lake. This actually has a lot of kind of jagged rock, and you watch as your uh, your ship finding friend is carefully making his way through and as close as he can before he comes to a stop and pushes off of a rock with the oar and says, "All right, I think this is as close as I can get." Um, what what are you doing here, if I might ask? We are gonna have a picnic on the island. Beach party. Nighttime beach party. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> Nighttime beach party. We're carrying nothing. <laughs> Wait, what is it? A deception? Yes. Uh, fourteen. He goes. Sorry, I asked. Um, <laughs> you know the nighttime is the best time to go frog gigging. I'll tell you what. what? That is true. Yeah, talking. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get the sense the less I know, the better off I am. So um, go about your business. I'll be waiting here. Uh, don't do anything stupid. Just, I mean. I'm not getting involved in anything. There's, no, yeah. There's, there's some not. illegal business here. I see something shifty. I'm back on the shore and you have to swim your way out. Of course. Would someone help me down, please? Here, I'll help you, there. Grampus. <clears throat> On either side. All yeah. you need to know is this: sure, yeah. there's three dudes and three ladies. You do the math. Don't do the math. Just, just. He takes the on. bottle and takes a big, heavy <laughs> swig and sits down in the boat. <laughs> we'll return. All right. As you guys step off the boat into about ankle deep water, traversing the broken bits of uh, sharpened stone, making your way to the actual uh, island of Crooked Stone. Begin to slowly approach the outside of the tree line. What do you guys want to do? Um, should I like cast good and evil detection again? That seems to work. I work. can do it. Uh, or, b before you before you do, let's just take a look around. I'm gonna take around. a look around to see if I can. St I'm gonna try and see if I can find any footprints or anything. Uh, make an investigation. Can I, can I can I use my again or no? Uh, well, what are you doing? Are you just looking around for I'm details? Specifically, I'm you... specifically looking for 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 uh, 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 signs of the arrival. Of All right, make a make a, a survival check. What was the name the of the creature right. again? Uh, a Nurgalid. Heavens to Megatron. Uh, that's awful. Wow, this. Ha Wait, that's cocked. And we're under the light of the moons. That's right? awful. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a uh, eight. Uh, it's hard to tell because it's such a rocky shore. There aren't a lot of signs of landfall. Right. Yeah. Um, moonlight at this point. Uh, no. Moon moonlight yeah. and a little bit of, of a, a dissipating orange glow, so just, or orange okay. purple glow in the sky. Oh, that's the sun's right. Already We've set. got some Better humans. Than, okay. Yeah. I did a Travis burp. Oh no. <laughs> he, like, he like blew it out. I blew it that way. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. 
cats. It's you can cats. taste it, can't you? All right. So what's the plan, guys? Um, so you didn't find anything? I mean, we can just start heading in, but if you want to... Uh, I can cast it, I just will lose a spell. Hold song. on. Mm. Uh, I send uh, Frumpkin into the sky. Okay. And look down and see if, uh, now that uh, I have him flying closer, so maybe I can see better or see something moving in this dim light before it goes. Okay, perception check on Frumpkin. Please. Yeah. Roll really good. Uh, with disadvantage because of the lack of light. Well, well that's a big seven. Okay. We're lowly humans. How did you uh, deal with this? It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I let all of you go first everywhere. Um, yeah, the lack of detail, nothing really catches uh, Frumpkin's eye from above. Oh, it's too dark. Okay, can I do an investigation, or can I do, can I look and see if I see any like big broken branches or Make sign of check. something big moving through the forest? Perception? Yep. Not investigation? Okay, well, are you glancing about? Or are you going to go and, and like wade through the forest to look for things? Is there a difference between just glancing about? No range. Then... Um, I'd like to move up to the tree line and start seeing if I can like where the mud and stuff is, and see if I can see any sign of something big moving through the forest. Or for a witch's okay. hut. So make or an investigation for a check. Hut. Mm. It's a big island. That's the same damn fucking roll piece of Well, it's shit. good, because the first roll should have stayed anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. What was that one? Um, investigation? Nice. Yeah. Seven. Seven. It's hard to tell in the dark, unfortunately. Your human eyes uh, prevent you from finding any details in the vicinity let's, let's without a light source. First, the faint bit of moonlight yeah. gives you the, you know, the general structure of the island, but beyond that, even looking close, you have a hard time making out details. How about we fan out and move in? All right. All right. Okay. Keep a line. With an eye shot of each other. Just for a little further. <laughs> like looking for drowned kids. Like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> to <laughs> make a line. Because I can't see anything, I'm going to hand on your shoulder. I'll move along behind you. Guide you through. Okay. So you all, what is the order in which you guys are walking or fanning out? The exact order that our minis are right there. You know, it kind of <laughs> works. Put me next to Bo. Let's yeah. put let's put the humans in the middle so that they can't be yeah. surprised. Yeah, I'll put, be on the edge. Put yeah. Ford on the outside. I'll be there on the other go. side. Well, not the exact order. Yeah, do no. we want to do like then a uh, uh, okay. a try like a V formation with not in the lead and the two humans just behind? Not well. Full We're fine like this. Right. Well, not should be next to Caleb because he can't Caleb? see. Yeah. So not he's should orange. be right next to Caleb. Oh, he's just just or not. So it's just yeah. don't yeah. spread out I'll, any. I'll be next to Molly. Too far to where we're not in shouting Great. distance. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Not too far. So we spread. You're in the. I love all of this. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're not gonna die anymore. Right. No. So, again, you guys all carefully make your way into the tree line. Um, the smell here is uh, definitely that of low tide. You get that kind of unearthing of sediment and uh, the occasional whiff of dead fish. Do we smell any brimstone? Uh, no, not at the moment. You guys push further in. Are you being quiet about this? Yeah. Then yeah. I would like you all to make a stealth check, please. Hey, there's my good roll. That's all right. 17. 19. 16. Hmm. 17. 15. 16. Whoa! Well, there's there's good cluster, good cluster. There's, there's that, that magic we never had. As you guys slowly become a cohesive unit. <laughs> <laughs> a true adventuring party. You begin to carefully make your way through. Thankfully, uh, most of the uh, the small uh, tree cluster, the, this, this small glade, if you will, um, the the floor of it is soft, and as you step, there's no heavy snapping of twigs or crumbling of leaves. Um, something does catch the edge of your foot on the outskirts, Ford, as you glance down, and you see what looks to be uh, two crustacean shells. Uh, small crabs that seem to have been fished out of the nearby lake and have been completely eaten. Uh, the inside has been cleared out. Hold for a sec. These shells have been devoured. Oh, I pass fish. it down the line. The shells have been devoured. <laughs> the bells have been devoured. <laughs> the, the bells are in my power. The veils are covered in flour. 
<laughs> Something about being the flower. <laughs> Keep an eye out for. Did Toya love crabs? The veil. The veil? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, what was put in front of her? Well, I mean, we eat what's put in front of us. We're not picking people. You guys continue about 30 or so feet into the tree line um, yeah. before you, you start finding what looks to be, a, a, I wouldn't say a clearing, but the trees aren't as closely placed together. There is some semblance of an opening here and there. What? I didn't burp. Yes, you did. I did not burp. You probably just breathed out hard. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was me. Oh, oh, that was you? <laughs> no, I meant Caleb's stink. Oh. <laughs> I have not burped. Is there a... <laughs> no sign, like, I'm trying to just keep keep an eye out for anything. Unfortunately, uh, you're having a hard time yeah. to make right. any sign. Um, you guys make your way towards the, the center of this, this, this cluster of trees. As we walk, Ford and I will keep a lookout for any more crustacean empty shells. Okay. Uh, make perception check. Well, oh, one of you do, the other can aid if you want to, and it gives you advantage in the roll. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she gets rolled I get points. advantage? Yeah, oh, she gets thank God. Thank, thank God. Thank God you're helping me. Um, just perception? Mm -hmm. 20 total. Ooh, okay. Nice. Um, you don't see any more crab shells, um, but you do glance a bit ahead, and amongst the trees, you can see what looks to be uh, stonework. Stones stacked in a wall that is toppled over and fallen. A small ruin. Some sort of a structure. Once a, a single story structure that it seems to have fallen inward and been destroyed. Uh, partially nice. overgrown, and when a little bit of moonlight comes through, you can, you can just make out the shape of it. There's corners still standing, but other than that, it looks like it's been toppled over and left to ruin. That's not like a natural, is that a cave? Is that a, I think your eyes are better than mine. Yeah, from my dark vision, can I kind of zero in on what she's looking at? You get at? a little closer, can you? Yeah, I'll scoot up a little bit. Okay. Uh, you, you scoot up a little bit and you can see, yeah, it's definitely a, a ruined building. It looks like it maybe was uh, 30 feet on one side, maybe 15th in the other, and is just destroyed. I can see why they say a witch was here. It's pretty spooky in this light. Even if we weren't here on business, I want, really want to see this. But can we sneak around the hut? Should we, can we surround the hut? Yes. Can we do it's that? no hut, it's a ruin. Ruins. Can we sneak oh, sorry. around the ruin? A... <laughs> We're yes, building can. a narrative can here that Matt is not garbage. giving us. <laughs> like the secret, you're just manifesting a witch fight here. Which way? Where's the hut? Which way? Um, <laughs> all right, so. Um, yeah, let's approach. You guys approach, and uh, uh, who's, who's keeping visual point on this? You, who's got better eyes? I have dark vision. I have dark vision. I have dark vision. And I'm moving slow on purpose at the back of the group now, which means you are too. Right. All right, so who's helming this? I don't give one of you a perception roll to help Go me. for oh. it, Molly. No, I. No, we're pointing at you. You. You're pointing at me for. Per I don't want perception. You want both. I mean, I can both. try. Both. But but technically, I should have given both disadvantage because we're human eyes. Oh. Oh. Let, let it slide because oh. you're looking for crustaceans and you're okay. okay. ruined. Like, right. But I'll do right. it. you have a hard time seeing in the dark. What's yours? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. I was used to you being a human. He basically saw it. I, go, I'll, 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 <laughs> I know, it worked out fine for the narrative. Yeah. I'll go for it. Go uh, and I don't get an advantage on this. No. no. Okay. <sighs> God. Six. <laughs> it's, it's too dark to really see anything, even with your dark vision. It looks like a ruin. They could very well be the sound is abandoned. Does there look like, uh, when we get up close to it, it looks like it's caved in on the top? It looks like whatever a roof was has fallen in, and all there are are some semblances of the walls still standing and corners to the structure, but most of it is either just crumbled in entirely. Yeah, this is like a famine home in Ireland. It's yeah, just it's so you can been, see the edges of the probably. And yeah. Broken. Ford, give me a boost. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Getting up on the roof. Okay. You climb up onto uh, what, there, there is no roof to it per se, like it's all fallen in, it's so a, there's, there's. It's a full hut it's with a, a witch inside, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to put a witch in this? <laughs> you want me to put a witch in this? <laughs> there can be a witch, Sam. It's a full two story hut with a I'll burning fire. fire. <laughs> I got rules for this shit in the book. <laughs> I just hear a dice fall, and six witches come out. Yeah, yeah we're going back to my, my first campaign. <laughs> Roll for oh, a number man. of witches. Um, 
All right, so as, as you kind of vault up to the top <laughs> edge of, of one of the, the, the stronger walls, uh, you head up onto the side and glance to the back, right as a pair of red eyes <laughs> right up at you in this I'm I need you to roll initiative. Oh, yes! I did not you seek that in, did I? I nope. Everybody or just her? Here All comes of the you. Back. All of us! Oh, yes! 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 Oh, my God, which oh, dice? God, which oh, dice? Oh, I haven't oh, rolled this dice yet. Maybe it'll be kind. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, okay, look at okay. this well constructed map. Oh. So Shit snacks. Right there. Oh, look at the oh, size God. of that. Oh, oh, look at your up in the air, bro. so big. And there's a toy at. All right, so, He's so cute, whereabouts though. are you, uh, you guys currently? Well, He's I guess I gave Ford gave her a boost up, so. Yeah. yeah, I feel right. like me Ford's and, like, right next me to me. Me and Molly were closer yeah. to so it. Ford's right there, and I'm giving you the boost up. You and Molly were close to it? Closer than Caleb, yeah, that's good. Okay, you guys went next to each other because you're holding there, and Molly, you had moved up to probably here. Around there? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Oh, that's big. The trees are awesome. Oh my oh, god, man. oh my god, oh my god. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. All righty. So. That fucking music. Let's dance. Let's go ahead and. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> oh, no, they rolled really well. All right. Hey, it's just one. There's toys there, too. Dwarf and child. Toy is it just a dwarf? Oh. She's going to pull out some shit. Yeah, All right. she don't trust that bitch. So. Uh, 25 to 20, anybody? No. Since you get high. We got higher than that last time. No. 20 to 15. 16. 18. 16. Whoa, guys. Okay, hold on. So we have Molly up front at 18. Boom. Okay. Uh, who's next after that? Jester and Bo, right? 16. 16. Both of you at 16. 16. Right. And I'm at uh, 15. <laughs> Same. You and Broken. For the ease of this, I think we're just going to run with Frumpkin on your initiative order because otherwise, just another initiative we have to worry about. So just keep him with me. Keep him with me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have Caleb. All right. Uh, Fifteen to ten. Eleven. All right. Not. Would you get forward? Five. Oh no. Oh so dear. Wait. You can't see because you're looking through the sparrow, or because you're just a human. I'm human. Okay. Um, That's why we're holding so, We're not holding it. Top anymore. of the combat round. Molly, you hear this growl, and you watch Bo begin to react and get the staff ready, and you immediately know this is this is not good, but you're up first. Um, I'm going to pull out both my swords, and I'm just going to drag them. Both my swords. Both my swords. Both my swords. Irish, I'm going to shoot. I'm not doing my accent right now. Uh, so, so I'm going to pull out both the swords, and I'm just going to drag them uh, on the back of my neck, and the, before the blood even begins to pour, it just goes straight into ice. Okay. Along the blades. Uh, you can only you can only apply one action per round. Bonus action. Action. Oh, you can both right now? Action and bonus action. Technically it's a bonus action, you can't convert can't, an action to a I bonus action. I can't turn action. an action to a bonus action? No. All right, that's fair. So uh so yeah, so you could you could apply it once and then you still have your action. Okay. Um I'm going to uh oh, So you man. can mark that so you so you take down your temporary hit points. So down to twenty two. Max points to twenty two. Um I'm going to move Around and I'm just going to try and get a little cover right here. Okay. So you move there. I'm going to move there, and I'm going to hold my attack. For I'm going to hold my attack till there's something to hit. Okay. Sounds and I'm good. going to try and just make a little. You know, wave it, wave it, yeah. Okay. Toya. Toya. Ah, brain. So. It is now, Kauri's turn. Oh, oh shit! Right away. Okay. <laughs> All right, seeing you right there, oh, the oh, devil shit. toad turns to little Toya to the side, who looks a bit dirtied, um, and a glance right and goes, We're trying to take you away. Come, sing for us, stop them. Oh. And uh, uh, Lieutenant Fortnite go, uh, let me down, help me down, what? help me down. What? Ah! <laughs> All right, um, the uh, devil toad is going to straight leap. Oh, bunga. Which would pass through your your uh, your oh. attack opportunity oh. yeah. and land <laughs> right there. Oh, at the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So make your attack if you want it. As, oh, I can't really do anything. It's just a whack, right? It's just a, a hit with your staff. Yeah. Sorry, hit. Reaction. Okay, oh, twenty-one. Nice. That hits. Go roll damage. Uh, just with my staff, right? Correct. 
Not great, but fine. Seven points of damage. Seven <laughs> points of damage. You smack him away with this horrible wet thud to the back of its body, but it, it moves through with immense speed, especially the density and the weight of this thing as it lands. The ground shakes in the area, the vicinity, uh, and as it lands, it uses its action to summon devil. Uh, all right. Summon devil? Okay. As it lands, it begins to mutter a language under its breath. Uh, oh anybody here speak uh, Infernal? Yeah. <laughs> you hear an incantation <laughs> that, espe- that essentially Wait, am- amounts to to a faint, come protect me, brothers, breathe its breath, and you watch oh. as three bursts of flame. Three! <laughs> three! Oh, as three. three imps three. apparate three. in the vicinity. Oh, Fucking imps! Oh, here. oh, you oh, guys! In here. Oh, no, oh geez. Roll them. Caleb. Initiative. Okay. We're fucked. We're fucked. This We're is fucked. so fucked. bad. Fucked. This is so fucking bad. Well, we right. so excited about that. That's Jester. his action. And uh, Toya's up next. Toya actually rolled initiative just under below. Oh, she um, wants to be our friend. Toya is going to. Like looking around, looking scared, looking at you, kind of mishing towards her. Uh, begins to just, her haunting voice begins to spread from her, and I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. 15. 15. Nice. Also 15. 20. 17. Whoa. Natural. Wow. Nice. 20. Still 15. Nine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's some good saving throws, guys. All right, so uh, all you kind of shake your head and back away. You, your eyes kind of move towards her, and there's there's an en- an enchantment that pulls your your attention. Um, you have disadvantage on any attack rolls you make for the next turn. Um, but she kind of scared begins to, sees you and begins to walk uh, back this way and hide behind the wall, but continues to sing, kind of giving this aura in the vicinity. Um, that ends Toya's turn. Bo, you're up as well as Jester. Mm. Can I just, I'm gonna invoke duplicity. All right, so that's your action. <laughs> Where are you yeah. placing your? Uh, so she can appear anywhere. I believe. Let me see real fast. Still getting used to these. Yeah, new, yeah, yeah. New yeah. abilities. Use your D and D next to look at the information Jeez. about that. It appears spell. anywhere within thirty feet of you. No Tight. occupied space. Okay, so yeah, she's gonna appear. Um, in the tree in front of me, like right kind of right next to Ford kind of ish. Okay, Wait, there. did you have two minis made for yourself? No, Matt did the second one. Oh, Isn't that cool? Wow. And, we know where it is now. and then as me, I'm going to run um away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna run, can I run behind a tree and like I mean you can, can go I around crouch? this one there and crouch I'm gonna crouch you. behind it. Okay, that gives you some cover. That's your turn. Bo, That's you're up. Um, okay, I am going to vault off of the platform that I'm on, and I'm gonna go for Toya. And I'm gonna take my bow staff, I'm gonna try and take her like where her throat is and grapple her down to the ground. Okay. Like to mm, basically throat crush. Throat crush. <gasps> All right, make an acrobatics check. The larynx, good for you. I'm so. This I is, feel this like Bo will have far good... less problems hurting children. Yeah, I. Did. Okay, okay, okay. Um, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, yeah. So you you make the 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 landing roll and go towards her. You can use your your action to grapple. Grapple her down. Okay, go Hit ahead. Her down. Go ahead and make a, an athletics check, please. Knock her out. Don't fuck me on this guy, Johnny. Oh, that was so close. It's a 40. Yeah, it was, it was 40. I know you can barely see that one. Um, athletics, you said? 19. 18. Athletics, 18. Sorry, 18. You say? 18. All right. All right. <laughs> so, as you land, you manage to grapple Toya, uh, Toya, and using the staff, you press her against the wall, and uh, the scared dwarf girl's eyes are just open wide. She's The singing falters for a second. Um, but she continues to still sing, and you see her eyes looking around desperately for. Do I have a bonus? I, I mean, you have a bonus action, yes. Can I crush it a little bit further oh. and get her to stop singing? I'm so proud of you. Where's that wind by? Uh, Just a little. Mm, technically, technically, grapple is an attack, so it's attack action. So yeah, you can. That's right. 
y'all thought Keyleth was fuck up. Um, <laughs> Who? What am I doing? Just a straight attack? Just a straight attack. Whatever. If you're just hitting with the, with the or pushing ahead with that, I'll say. Uh, Eleven. Eleven uh, does not hit actually. Oh. Um, as you, strongest as you, really strong well, well, it's more pressure. the fact like as you're pressing in, she's like adjusting her body and she's reaching up, grabbing and trying to keep her voice uh, emitting from her throat, and you can't seem to get a bead to, to, to press. But she looks genuinely really scared and freaking out at being put in this position. I'm just gonna say I felt bad for you before, but now you should be scared. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So that ends Bo's turn. Uh, Caleb, you're up. Uh, question, is the human's uh, visibility shit right now? Yeah, there's no light in here. So I can't see what I'm doing, right? Uh, most every, any roll you'd be making would be a disadvantage. Okay, so I cast, um, uh, uh, so t- uh, four globules of light go <laughs> out of my hands, and uh, okay, one of them hovers. have a light for this. Hey! hey. Wow. Forgot about that. It's I should have put, put that on. So yeah. it's a, a oh, row. A row of four, four globules of light. One is hanging above where my miniature is now. One is closer to Froggy. One is pat like a line over the building so that there's one also hanging over uh, Beauregard. Okay, so we'll say within this vicinity Swear. here, oh, now the, the entire me. center of the oh island now glows and you can see the ruins <laughs> casting shadows off against the, uh, the rocks in the vicinity from where each globe is placed. You all have a pretty good view of the battlefield at the moment. And with my remaining movement, I am uh, hauling ass towards uh, Ford and whichever jester that is ahead of me. You can get right behind Ford if you yeah. want to. Okay, that ends Caleb's turn. Uh, not, you're up. Uh, okay, uh, seeing where Caleb has run. Uh, if I move, will that imp next to me get an attack? One way to find out. Okay, well then I will turn to the imp next to me and I will, uh, I'll slash at it with my short sword. Okay, go for it. As its Two. wings are. F- <laughs> oh. Did you add something? Two plus six, so I got a hit. Eight. Eight. As you swing wide, it flaps its wings backward, and the tiny demonic humanoid creature with its wings in the air goes. <laughs> All right, I will bonus action disengage yes. and run to Caleb. Okay, with that, you make it way. Disengage, baby. <laughs> so proud. So proud. Okay, so you're all clustered up here Good. behind the ruins. So smart. All righty. Uh, they can't get us over here! <laughs> all right, so that finishes your turn, Caleb. Uh, or not, Ford, you're up. Over the top of the ruins, can I see the hellish toad? You can, with the light that's burned up in there. It only goes up about maybe five or six feet there. You have a good view of the creature. Can I use? As my, for my bonus action, my hex blades curse. Yeah, that you can. What? Hex blades curse. I gain a bonus to my damage rolls. A nineteen or a twenty is a crit, and when it dies, I might get something. So oh, as kind of as you focus like on it and, and you know condense your attention, uh, you guys watch as the uh, the blade in uh, in Ford's hand shimmers slightly, and you watch as what previously was a, a faint bit of uh, just polished metallic suddenly begins to grow something organic looking. A cluster of barnacles begin to appear out of the hilt of the weapon and curl down about three or four inches in the blade, and it begins to just drip water, sourceless, like it was freshly pulled out of the ocean. At which point you watch as the shadows that have been drawn from the nearby bits of stonework begin to tear into the body of, uh, of the Devil Toad, who looks around at the ground as there's now this kind of uh, squirrely, swirling bit of black energy that's just wrapping around and causing it to kind of look about confused at its torso. So that's your bonus action. I'm coming for you. I'll roll around to the right side so that I can see Toya. Alrighty. And I'll use uh, Eldritch Blast at Toya, <laughs> being held down by. Okay. Bo. He has advantage, right? Because she's pinned? Oh, you're shooting Toya or you're shooting the toad? I'm sorry, the toad. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And that is a, a, a 19. Ooh, that's a, that you is just a crit. said that's a crit, right? Well, is it, uh, for the hex, blade, we'll have to double check. Oh, it is melee. It's for your melee. It I don't think melee. it's for spells, unfortunately. That's right, it is melee, that's right. Yeah, I, I'm staying right there. I'm using it plus six, so that's a 25. <laughs> yeah, that hits, good roll damage. Every time he casts a spell, does it go, Oh, this is going to be so great. Uh, uh, 13, 14, 15. 15. That's slick. Ooh. That's it. From that blast? Yeah. Sick. Because it's plus 
One uh, one D eight plus four plus two for the hex blade. The hex blade is that also for me the weapon though? D and beyond. You get bane of damage, uh, bonus damage rolls against the cursed target. It equals okay. my proficiency bonus. Great, yeah. So it's just, it's, yeah. So yeah. So that's great. It's fifteen. Uh, so with that, as you kind of snipe through. Uh, the, the pummel of your blade, the energy blast strikes into the toad, and as you watch as it impacts, the shadows seem to grab the bolts of energy and tear them back towards its torso, causing additional damage as it kind of. <laughs> Can I use the the rest of my movement to? Yeah, no, I'm good where I am. Yep, thank you. Okay, that's the end of your turn. Top of the round. Now the imps go. Oh boy. Oh jeez. The imps are at the top of the round. Yep. Jeez, the worst. Times three, right? Twenty foot. No. That's a mistake. You also three, don't mean to do that. Four. <laughs> 20 feet, two inches. Or. 20 feet speed. Okay. Oh no, it's a, it's a 40 foot fly oh. speed. Oh, <laughs> of course it is. Jeez. 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 Opening your mouth right there. That was so useful. That works. <laughs> so useful. Yeah, I had to go back and check again. All right, cool. My apologies. <laughs> so with that, uh, all three of them are going to make a sting strike. So that's Damn. one against you, Caleb. No, but. That uh, natural three plus. Five, it's eight. Ooh, it almost got me though. <laughs> Misses you yeah. against not. That Jesus. Uh nine. No. No. And then Molly. Uh the seventeen plus uh five. Oh, Molly always gets hit. That, yeah, that <laughs> hit me. <laughs> Alright, so actually is, is it close enough to me that I would have taken the swipe at it anyway? You would have, so, yes. so take your strike. <laughs> I'll take my strike. As it comes into range. Mm-hmm. Things come um, in range. That's uh thirteen? Oh. Uh, 13 does it, just hits. So that's uh, 1d6 plus 1d4. Get it. So that's a. Uh, that's uh, 8 damage plus 1 cold damage, so 9 damage. 9 points of damage. Uh, as it swings down with its wings, you shark out with your scimitar and you carve through its body. It looks Horribly hurt. Blood spatters across your arm and across your forearm from the creature, but it still right. still survives and jams mm. its uh, its stinger into you. Uh, you suffer from that. It's uh, that is five points of piercing damage, and you have to make a Constitution saving throw, please. Five points of damage and a Constitution saving throw. Correct. Uh, All right. Uh, sorry. Uh, constitution saving throw. Um, God damn it! Uh, Eleven. <laughs> Eleven is just what you need to succeed. Oh, okay. So you only suffer four points of poison damage. So I just took five, six, seven, eight, and so nine. Nine points of damage. So Do I have something about poison? Wait. That's nothing. You're fine. That's a lot. Like All right. One hundred fifty. Yeah, totally. Curses on any damage. It's not. It's not melee. Anything. Correct. Correct. So I could roll an extra damage die, and it would be even for that crit. The nineteen. Oh wait. Okay. It doesn't have to. So be it doesn't have to be that. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. I, didn't, I had it right there, and I should have read it. Let me clarify. Yes. Yeah, so good. Roll another die. Oh. And it's a one d ten, not a one d eight. I'm yes. talking out my ass. Four. Eight. It's a ten. You rolled a ten? Uh, no, I rolled four. Well, it's the initial die. Thank you. Just the four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll get it sorted. Nice. Okay. Good enough. Thank you. Mm. All righty. That brings us to the end of the imps turn. Molly, you're up. Um, I'm going to take another slash at one of the. I'm going to. I'm going to use my uh, uh, bonus action. Take a slash at that imp. Uh, well, I can only use it as an action, right? I can't. Well, I no, can't. well, no, no, no. You action, and you have to attack with one hand, and then as a bonus, as you can bonus. attack with the other. Um, so I'm going to attack with. I'm going to. Okay, I'll, use, I'll burn my attack, hitting that bloody imp. So. But, but you can attack with the one that's not enchanted if you want. To. Uh, no, no, no. I'll hit it with the enchanted one. Okay. Because I'm. I'm really hurt now because I just took like nine points of damage. Go for it. Uh, yeah, 14, 15, yeah, 19 to hit. That hits. Good roll damage. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven points of damage. <laughs> With a, a scream and yes. a, a burst of flame and sulfurous cloud, hey. the imp flickers out of existence. Okay, I'm going to pull back behind this tree trunk then and get a little covered to figure out what to do next because I'm. Okay, really so use your action, you still have your bonus action. Yeah. Um, I can't heal or anything. My God, I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna. You can still attack with your bonus action if you wanted to. Yeah, but you, but I'm like, like, okay, then back away. I'm, That's your turn then. Yeah. All right, Molly's done. Um, really all right, so, Kauri, uh Let's see here. Yeah, it's gonna go ahead and standing leap. 
Kagoon. Uh, what's he from there? Oh, oh god. Thirty can land right there. Juggernaut <laughs> lands right next to you, Caleb. You actually get knocked almost off your feet and barely keep hold yourself there. The um, box. <laughs> oh shit! I meant to. No, never mind. It's okay. As it lands, you kind of glance over your shoulder at it. Its eyes burn ever bright, and you feel this kind of horrible, sickening sensation crawl across your body. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh god. Uh, twenty. Twenty. That's wow. exceeding in the saving throw. So, uh, hey, you are. Take that in for you. <laughs> so wise. Good. You are not stunned. As the siphon life uh, deals four points of psychic damage to you. Okay. However, he gains four. Plenty to spare. Points. He gains four. Yes. Oh. The life that it pulls from you oh. bolters bolsters himself, and it would have been a lot worse if you had failed. So that's oh, good. Right. All right. Uh, that's going to end Kauri's turn. Uh, now going to Toya, who's still singing. I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, bitch. Yes. 16, 14. Oh, good. 21. 21. Yeah. 19. 19. 20. 20. 21. 21. Uh, uh, is this wisdom? Wisdom. Yes. Uh, 23. You guys are rolling some crazy Just fucking saving throws. Just, Just now. Just saves. Jesus. All right, well, Toya, Toya keeps singing. She's starting to cry now. You can see like tears running down her face. Oh, not like, hard enough. Pushing her into the wall. No. Oh. All right. Just so that ends Toya's turn. Yes. Uh, Bo and Jester, you're up. Yep. Bo Jest. Am I with Bo Jest? Hitting range. Bo Jest. Me, 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 me. Am I? Can I run away without getting hit? Uh, you don't know. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, do you want to do something first? Go for it. I'm just gonna be like, Shh, shut up. So go ahead. Okay. I'm going to, um, with my duplicity self, get up on the roof. All right. Doop, 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 doop. Right there. And she's going to guiding bolt straight in his face. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll for the attack. Okay. You can do that. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. Guiding bolt is a is a ranged spell attack, right? Ah uh, yes. Oh, balls! <laughs> oh, seven. Seven is not a hit. Girl! As you as you attempt to fire the bolt outward, uh, the uh, the devil creature kind of glances up and sees your secondary form, and then ducks as it blasts into the ground right by your feet, just arcing past and exploding across the dirt and uh, bits of of whatever is there. <laughs> the word escaped me in the moment. <laughs> I was gonna, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I was going to say compost. Oh, there we go. Stinky compost is the word I was looking for. Stinky duty. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to say, you're so stupid. Why'd you get up on the roof like that? That's why he saw you. And I'm going to say, <laughs> <laughs> to the tree, straight back. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> As you come out of the way, the toad's long <laughs> arm reach swipes out at you as a reaction. Shadow. Uh, that is going to be. Chester has some self-deprecation issues. Says, Sixteen way. to hit. Ah, ah, What's your... hit me. Seventeen. Seventeen. What? Wow. Your AC seventeen. I got a shield, bitch. Yeah. As as <laughs> as you run and dart, you see the giant arm coming down towards you, and you pull the shield up, and it almost causes you to trip from the sheer force of the impact. But the the brunt of it is take uh, taken by the shield as it scrapes off, and you hear this horrible grinding of metal as its claws <laughs> scoop across the outside of it. Uh, that ends your turn, I believe. Bo. Okay. okay, so I'm got the little girl pinned. I'm gonna go shush, 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 shush. I'm gonna just take my arm and just. Are you just trying to cover her mouth? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an additional uh, athletics check. I just wanna like jam my whole forearm like in her mouth. All right, make an athletics check. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. But, but, it's your forte, so. 10! Uh, she rolled a 10 as well. That can, That is considered. A roll off! I get to roll again! <laughs> no, I, I believe, I believe for contesting. Yeah, because if it was like AC, it would be just enough, but. Right, I'm looking at con contesting uh, grapple rolls. checks here real fast. Ah. Learning track. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that was Moore's other job. That was a manure salesman. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sh for the hell of it, let's roll one more time. Who do you get? Oh, it's a roll off. It's a roll off. It's a roll, it's a roll, roll off. off. No Dance battle. Get back in there, Rocky. Uh, the, this one. Don't fuck me, Blue. No, oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, dude. Plus, just my athletics, right? Yes. Um, uh, 16. Thank you. Yeah. Natural 18. Oh. oh! This tiny little dwarf girl, her stout oh. form still manages to pull your arm back uh, from her mouth, and the voice continues to fill out words. Because she's really a tentacle. She's part of him. Do I have a bonus action? It's yeah, bonus. it was an attack, yeah. It was a grapple attack, you do. Do I, can I try something else like that again, or do I just get like an attack? Uh, I mean, what do you want to do? do you if my try arm doesn't work, I'm going to... Uh, Punch her in the face! Knock her the fuck out! That's kind of, yeah, I'm going to just be like, fuck, and I'm going to elbow her right in the temple and try and knock okay. her out. Okay, make an attack. That's cool. Pop. What? What's right? There Natural you go. 18, yes. so 24. That hits, roll damage. Right, 20, yes, 22, mm -hmm. 22. Uh, roll, oh wait, no. Yeah. Plus, it, yeah, 24. I'm confused, okay. Just one, two, four. New characters. This is, uh, new characters, new who characters. Dis? New character, who dis? Uh, yeah, okay, eight damage. Eight damage. Oh. Whack! As you smack her in the side of the head, her oh, eyes really? lull back and she falls limp in your grasp. She's unconscious. Good. There you go, Ace. Okay, okay. The singing immediately stops. I'm gonna be so pissed at you. Oh yeah, Shit. tiny dancer coming. That's all. That's it. My turn, right? Yeah. I'm just yeah. holding this girl. And you have your movement. So you're holding her there. Oh, I'm holding her. Um, tiny dancer. Can I kind of take in, uh, drag her back a bit? Okay, it's half into the woods. To drag her. So that's as and far I'm gonna as you be can quiet. <laughs> and kind of, kind of support her head. Right. You know? As soon as the as as soon as the singing, as soon as the singing stops, yeah. <laughs> the toad looks over the shoulder and sees you dragging her back. And but previously was this low kind of guttural growl it becomes this this bellowing scream of hatred um, that ends your turn, bro. What are the odds you think that Yasha's on this island that she's going to come save us Caleb, all? your turn. Uh, as soon as it starts roaring, I am surrounded. I have nowhere to go, so I pull the diamond out, spin it, and the <laughs> ice shards start to shoot, and I pick it up, and I just throw it in his belly button. <laughs> all right. You are, in base, you, you are in melee range with the creature doing a ranged spell attack, so go ahead and roll your attack. It has disadvantage. That's okay, oh, because if yeah. I move, I am dicked. <laughs> well, that's not good. That's terrible. Oh, the second one was so good, though. <laughs> uh, that's uh, not great. That's uh, ten. Ten, unfortunately. As as you're scared, the sound of it screaming causes you to shake. As you release the blast, unfortunately, your your fingers lose the lose the hold of your diamond for a moment, and you have to actually catch it. As you do, the spell just oh, dissipates and fumbles. So this is so unhappy. All right. All right. Anything else in your turn, Caleb? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Nope. I'm just going to stay there and and, and uh, freeze. What's the cat doing? Freeze up. Okay. This is a bird. Well, the cat's a bird. And she flies up straight. Alrighty. Uh, that ends Caleb's turn. Not you. You're up. Warhorn. <sighs> Do something cool. I mean, I can. Seeing Caleb surrounded. Ooh. Not will leap onto uh, the beast's face and just stab it in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> Which one, the, the toad or the, the big one? The Not big one? the very brave. Yeah. Okay. Are gonna get um, yeah, you will attack. Oh, I'll disengage first. Okay, so you disengage as a bonus action. <laughs> oh, move you over. knocked me off the roof. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put you back. Yeah, instant death. <laughs> Already. She didn't feel anything. She doesn't have actual nerves. Exactly. Somewhere. All right. So as you push away from the imp as it tries to strike at you, uh, seeing this, the, your, your friend in serious danger here, you dive into the shadows, leap in the air, blade, and go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, Nineteen. Yes. Nineteen hits. Ooh. Go ahead and roll damage plus sneak attack because attack. Caleb yeah. is in. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ten plus fury, the small twelve. All right. <laughs> So 12 points of damage. Uh, as you drive the blade into the devil toad, you see it 
plunge right to the hilt, and it begins to bleed from the wound, but its attention is still focused on the unconscious dwarf being dragged off by the monk. Okay. Uh, but that was a pretty sizable blow. That ends your turn, I believe. Ford. All right, I have a question. So yes. Hexblade's Curse, if I do another bonus action, does Hexblade's Curse just keep going? Uh, it doesn't uh, say that, it says it, it doesn't, if the curse ends earlier, the target dies, or you die, or you're incapacitated, it drops, but nothing else. Does it say it's concentration? concentration? It doesn't say. Then I would say it's not concentration. Then. Fucking A. With my bonus action, <laughs> can I cast Wrathful Smite? Yes, you may. What? Ooh. Wrathful Smite, and may I uh, charge El Toad from Hello? <laughs> that you can. <laughs> As you run through the space between that large rock and the exterior of the ruined building, uh, your large blade, which is now like, you watch as he runs, water just kind of drifts off of it behind. Uh, it seems to almost perpetually emanate its own source of water. You arc with the blade forward. Go ahead and make your strike. Thought it is a 15, 17. Uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Beautiful. So this is a 1d8. It's a one-handed, or are you holding it with two hands? I didn't really say. You did not. Yeah, so I'll have to go with the lower of the two. Yeah, 1d8 plus four. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus a 1d6 psychic damage, and he has to make Was it plus 4, right? It is plus 4. Right, yeah. your, 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 your charisma's plus 4, and you oh, have plus 2 my, because right. of your hex, so it's technically it's 16. That's right, 16. Sorry, it's 12, it's 14. 14, 14 yeah. And uh, let's see, 1d6 psychic damage, which is an additional 1 for, for 15. All right. And he makes a, wis uh, makes a wisdom saving throw, where he's frightened until the end of the spell. Uh, that is going to be a 12. What is the DC? Oh, I DC? think that's lower than my 14! Whoa! Hey. I got a spell save DC! You did it! You did it! I'm so proud this of you! Is, this is so exciting. So, as, as you uh, rush oh. through the air and the blade arcs, you watch as the water seems to glow as it comes off, almost like it becomes phosphorescent. And as he impacts the blade into the side of the, uh, of, of the demon toad, there's a flash of light and what's left behind is the scar that you've cut through its body is now burning with this kind of reminiscent uh, ember where, where you just just carve through its hide and it, it looks down at you, it averts its gaze from, from the monk for a second, it goes <laughs> And for a split second, for the first time, you see fear in its red burning eyes. Yes. So how long does that last? Uh, it lasts for... Uh... Until uh, he can make a wisdom check against the spell, the spell save DC. Again, okay. Mm -hmm. So Ains has disadvantage on attacks, and uh, cannot move closer towards you. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, if he's frightened. Yeah. Right, that's ten. Wisdom okay, that ends sports turn. Uh, Imps are up now. Uh, All right, so um, this imp here <laughs> is going to <laughs> turn around oh. and dart towards the cleric who ran off to the side, and that one's going to attack Caleb. I just, I'm not even here. You're doing human statues. Uh, okay, so Caleb, that, that is going to plan. be a 12 to hit. Defo. That hits? Yeah. Okay. So you suffer as the stinger hits you for seven points of piercing damage. All right. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Right. No problem. Uh, there's a 12. A 12? 12, a 12 succeeds. So you only suffer uh, five points of poison damage. Caleb is unconscious on the ground. <laughs> oh, Joe, oh, Joe. We gotta get, uh, gotta get the, the other imp there. attacking you, mm. Jester. Uh, that is going to be a, it's a natural 19. So yeah, pretty sure that hits you at 24. All right. Don't say this. You take uh, that's six points of piercing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Jesus, these things are so vicious. And you lose all your gold. God damn, it's a fucking seven. Jeez. All right. It's going south, guys. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Six points of poison damage. So 12 total? Correct. Not too bad. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, that's like, going to end the imp's turn. Molly, you're up. <sighs> oh. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to run towards. Uh, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to get a little closer. I'm going to start running towards the. Now that I've got running towards the uh, the ruins, yeah. 
Get about 30 feet there. Uh, that'll do it. I'm going to look at the imp, mm-hmm. and I'm in Infernal. I'm going to, I'm going to, to, to say to, to just in terrible. There is nothing but death for you here. And I'm going to attack vicious mockery on him. Oh. And show him, show him the bottom card, and like. You a and, bard? What the fuck? So, yeah. <laughs> so very, vicious mockery. Very antiquely. I have to learn oh. some. Uh, oh. Yeah. So that's a uh, that's um. A wisdom saving throw. Uh yeah. Yeah, it's wisdom saving throw. Uh, that is going to be a no with a seven. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't actually. I'm I'm trying to figure out how this works, but. Sure. You're um, by the way, when Caleb went down, those four globs of light. Disappeared. No. Yes. Uh, so that's uh, it's not a lot, but it's uh, uh, that's four points of psychic damage, and he has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. All right, uh, good And I'm God. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use my the, that was just my bonus action, so I'm gonna use my action. Well, vicious mockery is an action. You no, know, it's a it's a. A That's a, it is an action. You're right. Yeah. Um. Yep. That's that's kind of what I got right now. Uh. So yeah. Just just trying to get its attention. Okay. So uh, that ends your turn. Uh. It is now Kari's turn, who is was. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. He was about to go right after Bo, but he's scared of you and cannot move closer towards you. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and take a swing at, uh, at not. Yeah, sure. It's like, uh, uh, let's try and squash, squash the small thing right there with disadvantage. That is uh, 16. 16. 16 drama class? Mm-hmm. That hits, okay. okay. Uh, that's Uh, 11 points of uh, piercing damage as the claw strikes out at you. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh my god. We're not doing well. 10. 10 is just what you needed to succeed. Thank god. The poison from the claws of the toad does not set into your system. Um, I don't need this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's down? Yes. He's the only one who's down, but like we're all Everybody's hurt. Up. And, uh, and I can't. I've got a thing right for me, so I can't. <clears throat> Kyle is going to go ahead and, out of just sheer panic now, from Not you, we try to flee. This way is going to leap and land no over way. here. Would not. Uh, you do both get tax of opportunity on okay. the toad. Would not have fled except for that fear effect. It's like fuck. I got to run. Twenty-two. That hits. Uh, 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 Eighteen. Hits. Can I grab it with the sword with two hands, please? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Eight points. Uh, Eight points of damage. You, you, you had a sneak attack with that, right? Uh, why do I get sneak attack? Because he's he was next still to there. it, still and you can do it 11. on a, on right, a yeah. tower of two. Eleven points. Eleven points of damage. Nice. Uh, Eleven, 11 points, points of damage, points and does that trigger another attack psychic attack? Uh, another one d six. How does wait? How does the effect on that? It work? says the next time you hit with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration, your attack deals an extra one d six. Yes, it does. Okay. So that's eleven plus yeah. five, so sixteen. Ooh, sixteen. Oh my god. Image. Alrighty. Concentration can't can't use something else. Committed. Alrighty. It's a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> concentration. <laughs> it's concentration. Whole other bitch. level. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, as, as an action, it has to try and save against the spell to end the effect. Damn, that's crazy. Alrighty. Um, so, that being the case, it's going to end Kari's turn. Um, Lands looks over at you, hiding behind the tree. Oh boy. Um, oh god, no. So, Toya, death saving throw. That's a success. Mm. Alrighty. Uh, that brings Toya's us. Down? Yeah. Bo she and Jester. The fucking cranium. Yeah. What you guys Bo doing? And Bow and Jester. You can go first this time. <laughs> I can go first. Um, <laughs> who am I next to? Who's Bo next to? Jester. You're right here, next to Toya. You're far away from everything. <clears throat> and I'm in between. Ford is in between. Um, I'm too far away from everything. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Can I run? Hmm. 
I want to pick her up. And can I? It's run? half movement with her. Shh, that's her. fair. Okay. No, I want to. I'm sorry. I want to move this way towards Molly. Okay. Double move. Yeah. Not much else. And I'll try and get behind. I've got a forty foot movement. Remember that. That's right. Yes, yeah, so you can. You can get there. Okay. Do I have any type of bonus action or anything? You have your bonus action. Um, can I just yell, Calry? And I kind of want to hold up the girl and be like, "Come get her!" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, oh, Calry, uh, between the trees and being frightened of Ford, doesn't seem to notice you at the moment. <laughs> is currently focused on the fear effect. Yeah, I tried. Of the might. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm trying to move around. That's all good. So that ends your turn, Jester. Huh. Okay, I'm going to cast, fuck, cure wounds on myself. Okay. Um, so glad you didn't do detect evil. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Hey. That's good. That's good. So nine points of damage healed. Good. Okay, and this is gonna just go away as soon as I turn and run away from the imp towards <laughs> towards Ford. Around the tree, so that the the frog guy doesn't get an attack on me. Uh, well, you're still in his combat range, actually. Oh, he, has, he has a ten foot range. Oh, Maybe man. he'll be distracted by fear. Mm. He doesn't have disadvantage on the attacks because of the fear effect. So that's helpful. Uh, do you want to run through this way? I guess yeah. Okay. I mean, if that's what he can't follow you. 20, that's good. Thirty. Jeez. That puts you there. Both Imp and Kauri get. Both have problem. disadvantage. Uh, both. the Imp because. Mm -hmm. This is mockery. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's Thank right. You. So, yep. part of the plan. Yep. Damn, we're a tight spot. <laughs> uh, that this is mockery brings the imp's attack down to a nine. Yeah. Ah! So the stinger just whips past you. Uh, Kari's giant claw reaches out to try and catch you as you run past. <laughs> Natural twenty and a three. Oh! <laughs> so, uh, so that puts you at a, at a nine. So I'm pretty sure misses. So as you rush past, you hear the <laughs> of the ground behind you and bits of dirt and rock thrown up and tapping the back of your head from the impact of Kauri's grasp hitting the ground. I'm just running away, saying shit, 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 shit. <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. I guess so. All righty, uh, that brings us to Caleb. Made you make a death saving throw. Success. Okay, so that's one success in that. Uh, not. Uh, there's an imp still in front of us? Yes, there's an imp that, that just knocked Caleb to the ground. Okay. He's gonna fuck me up. Uh, I will, uh, I'll just shoot him with an arrow. I'm, I'm like 10 feet away? Yeah. That's yeah. 15 feet from me. 15 feet, I'll, I'll draw and shoot. All right, so if you go and plant your hand crossbow, shoot. Oh boy, 10. <laughs> Ten uh, does not hit, unfortunately. It ducks out of the way. Uh, and then I will. You have so few options. I really do. I, I, uh, I will cover uh, Caleb's body with mine. <laughs> does that work? I don't so, know. You, so you move on to Caleb's face and kind of just use your body as a shield. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that ends Knot's turn. Uh, Ford, you're up. Let's try to finish this motherfucker off. I'd just run right past Jester as she's going, chit, 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 chit. <laughs> 30, it's as close as you can get right there. Yeah, which is not in melee. No. Damn. Damn. Eldritch Blast. Okay. <laughs> uh, you are in his melee range, which means you'll have disadvantage in Eldritch Blast, unless you want to, okay, so knowing that, you could knowing take that. a step yeah, back. I'll take one back. Yeah, I figured you probably would know that. Yeah, sure, I would. So there. Okay, great. Uh, Travis wouldn't, but. Ford would know. Uh, that is a, a 24. That hits. Beautiful. That definitely hits. No. Is it a natural 18? No. Uh, it's a 17. 17. Plus nice. 6. What, what's my math? 23, excuse me. Yeah, you got 23, it. sorry. Uh, that is an 8 plus 4 plus 2. Yeah, 12, 14. 14 and the. You don't do additional psychic damage. It has to be a melee weapon to do that. Thank you. 14. 14 points of damage. On the Eldritch Blast. Still the tank. Alrighty. Uh, Ford, how do you want to do this? Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so 
I run up, stop, realize how long its arms are, flip the sword over, look into the pommel, and just fire it into his back, line him up. As it, uh, the creature jams its, pulls its jammed hand out of the ground of trying to strike at Jester, it turns around and watches you approach, and as you hold the pommel outward, the blast lighting up its jaw, you see its eyes go almost to a bright pink with fear as it recoils from the blast. As it hits, you watch as the blast poof, seems to be absorbed by its blubberous form, and then you watch as this crack begins to across its body, and it's trying to hold itself together, and you watch as the scales begin to turn to ash, and like the inside of it burning out like the end of a cigarette, you see the embers glowing and incinerating the interior of its body as it slowly tries to fold its body together, and it falls to its knees, and then slowly the rest of its body just tumbles away into ash and dust. There's no body? Uh, well, you, you watch as, as part of it from the impact, but the whole body doesn't burn away. Okay, but like, like God, part, part of it was like, body. we need a body. No, <laughs> the, the, the wound where it impacted is like burned oh, up at this God. point. Oh, oh. Hit points, but I didn't. Is that imp still there? Is the, uh, is the imp still active? Two imps. Uh, two imps are still active. Yes. All right. Still active. That ends your turn for him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Death. <laughs> <laughs> and that imp's going to go after Not, who's currently protecting. I'm going to. I'm going to blood um, maledict. I'm going to curse the eyeless on that in. Okay. Uh, which one? The one that's attacking the, not. The one that's attacking not because yeah. Okay. So let's disadvantage that one. Uh, that puts it at uh, 14. 16. 16. Yeah. yeah. So, so as its eyes kind of cloud over, it swings with its stinger, and you feel it just barely hit the tip of your hood and pull it back, uh, but no impact on the stinger. The one that's attacking you for. Mm -hmm. uh, that is an 18. That will hit. Plus, yeah, it is. Plus, plus you motherfucker. Five. All right, so you suffer uh, seven points of piercing damage. Ooh. And I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Copy that. Oh, big money. That's one big that, money. That's not big money. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's low, because that's a two. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a six. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, no. So 3d6 poison damage, that is. 14 points of poison damage. Jesus. Did you Are you still alive? Yeah. No, I'm unconscious. Oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <coughs> From an imp? <coughs> Fine. We are. That stinger's no joke, man. Oh my god, wouldn't that be funny if we kill the thing and then we die from the imps? Oh, that would That would be so funny. So, <laughs> after the, 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 the summon it is, is gone, the imp turns, and as it Runs towards you. You try and prepare, and that stinger pushes past your leather armor and pierces right through your sternum. And the poison just hits the inside of your system, right where the heart and lungs are. And you feel them seize up, oh, and shit. your oh, eyes no. and sight go to darkness. Fuck. Um, that ends. Uh, both right. imps you're... goes. Molly, you're up. Uh, I'm going to take a run. I'm running at that the closest imp. Can I get there? You can get there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take two swings. Go for it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, for fuck's sake. Nope. And, yeah, nope, they Maybe? are. Nope, uh, that was a, a 10. No. No. You try and swing the blind rage in your eyes, um, but the, uh, the imp whose eyesight you had cursed, hearing you approaching, manages to just get out of so... your range. Sorry, man, that sucks. <laughs> um, all right, that brings us to Bo and Jester's turn. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn and um, say, oh, oh, help me, traveler! And I'm gonna cast Word of Radiance. Okay, it's word pronounced of Word of. <laughs> <laughs> Which will hit both of the imps. What? With one d6 radiant damage. Oh, well, that's something. What? Uh, what is the spell? It's Word, it's word of Radiance. Okay. Each creature of my choice I can see must succeed on a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving, thank you. Uh, of 13. Five and 16. So okay. the one over Ford succeeds, the one over Not does not. Okay. So what does it do? 1d6 radiant. Okay. Six Ooh. damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six points of damage six, to six. the one over Not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you've, or the, the, who someone damaged you? Yeah, that's the one he cursed. Yeah, with, with, with Revicious Mockery, that's enough to do it. So you watch as that imp suddenly 
this bright uh, kind of whitish blue light begins to burn up its body. <laughs> As it tries to fly away, you watch its body <laughs> just burn away like flash paper. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Bonus action, anybody? Or? Uh, that was. Oh God, no. That was no. an action. Stabilize someone. Uh. uh as a, a, as yeah. a feat. I as a it. bonus, can I? Um, I don't even have a healing potion. Shit. We are. There's one paper. on the map. Yeah. I'm gonna run over to. Uh, uh-huh. In that imp's face. Oh. I oh shit! The imp is still potion. over top of <laughs> Ford. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's the threat. I'm gonna make my illusion. Jump down and start charging at the imp over Fork. That's smart. Right there. Yeah. All right. That ends your turn. Uh, that brings us to Bo. Once again, there's no way I can probably clear the grounds and get to this imp. Is there? No. You could. You could get there. You could dash. And draw attention. How many imps are left? One. 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 Bonus action. To and there, I gave my healer's kit to her, so right. there's nothing mm-hmm. I can do to try and bring the girl back. I can soak up damage. She, she's got two more rounds regardless. She does, and she's already she saved she one. Saved, yeah. She's got three more um, rounds regardless. Actually, I need to make another. Okay. Success. Hey. Damn, there's not a lot I can do. I guess yeah. I'll. You're good. Yeah, it's I guess fine. I'll run up. Maybe don't. Just there. Can I pick up a rock and throw a rock and be like, "Get, get on!" Sure, we'll call it an improvised weapon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Get. You're not proficient, so go ahead and just roll a straight attack roll. In the dark. Yes. <laughs> with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Four. Fourteen. I guess that's a four. So ten. <laughs> you hear it clatter against the tree in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have trash pandas. Get out of here. Caleb, make another death saving throw, please. Yeah. How you doing, man? That's a success. Yes. Uh, hey. Two successes. Alrighty, uh, not. Okay, uh, with one hand, I will try to uh, sort of put, cover the bleeding wounds of Caleb, and with the other hand, not even looking, I'll just fire my crossbow at the <laughs> other. <laughs> At the other gob, uh, the other uh, impy thing. Okay, go for it. Okay. One. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't look. I should have looked. Uh, all right. Uh, roll one more attack roll for me, please. Oh, no. Don't you fucking That's hit That's a me. six. Six. Plus six. You hear oh. a ping across your shield uh, as a bolt from a hand crossbow almost hits you, Jester. I'm blinded! <laughs> this is, this is, oh man, one imp is going to kill us all. One fucking imp. All right, yeah. uh, not does that end your turn? Just uh, kill him. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I can't do anything. I can run over to the other thing, but I can't do anything. So, uh. We have to stabilize Ford, that's what yeah. we got to do. Yeah. And my, and and my boy. Caleb, Caleb's doing okay. It's I, two successes. Yeah. yeah. So, Not that you know that. I don't know that. No. But, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> so just, yeah, I'm just staying. Okay. Staying yeah. Oh, three. four. Need you to make that saving throw. I know it's been a long time since you've had to make one of these in the game. Three. Oh, That's no! a fail. Oh, Is that your first fair? Yeah. yeah. First Top fair. of the round. Yeah, but that, the imp. I'm gonna make a perception yeah, check for that. Mm, that's not good enough. The imp is gonna go ahead and fly over and attempt to take a swing at. Your illusion? duplicity illusion. Good. Um, That's good. Okay. Does does anything happen when the when the illusions hit? It doesn't say. Or is it just? It just says for the duration you can cast spells as though you were in the illusion space. Check yes. just in case. I have advantage on attack rolls against a creature if we're both within five feet of each other. Yeah. So it's just an illusion. So does anybody so, it, so it strikes no, and it stingers, just passes through with no effect, and it seems confused. And figures it out. So now it knows that it's an illusion. Okay. Um, but uh, it wasted its attack that round. Yay! Uh, illusions come in handy for that. All right, that ends their turn. Molly, you're up. I'm running right at it. All righty. Let's try some uh, different, different dice my here. Room, my uh, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh, what the oh my god, you gotta stop rolling that stop dice. I gotta stop rolling that die. Um, the iron. This is, yeah, no. Both of them, fuck you again. <laughs> uh, 11. The snitch. Uh, 11 does not hit. Does not hit. 
It's, it's too quick. You swing twice more, and it's just like it's doing figure eights around your blades. It's frustrating the shit out of you. Oh, no, just... His arms are getting so tired of swinging both those blades. <laughs> this is so. This is so <laughs> embarrassing. The dice do not give a shit. All She's right. Toya, this is so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Succeeds in her third death saving throw and stabilizes. She yeah. Oh good, no, she's she's no, no, she stabilizes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh good. A, a I, natural twenty oh, is what good. we can see after oh, the one. Okay. Um, all right, so that brings us to Bow and Jester. Do you want to attack the imp? I, uh, I'll, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you get advantage because I'm in, engaged with it? Uh, no, doesn't work that way. Okay. Not the rogue. Mm, that's right. Oh my God. No. So seeing everyone like dodge this thing, I'm just like. I mean, if, if you're flanking it, I'll allow advantage in the attack. Hey, yeah. So that's an even yeah. Which is like as long as you're on the uh, the complete opposite side of there the foe. There is a convention around the emperor. Right yeah. Now, yeah. So. yeah. So you can. Yeah. You can, I'll say you get advantage. Yeah. Everyone's like. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, look at it, scoot, God. <laughs> so yeah, you can if you want. So I'm just gonna run up and be like, God, come, did you stupid. Uh, ah, I'm gonna try and stomp it on him first. So you're gonna try and knock it to the ground and stomp on it? Is yes. that what you're doing? Okay. Is this like flying a in the air? Fly. First, right, first strike. attack. Yeah. Yeah. So attack with advantage. This is like an idiot from Ireland. <laughs> Catch it, Teddy! With advantage? With advantage. Right? That's all right. You're flanking. That hits. 15 yeah, it hits. Right now. So go ahead and roll damage on that one. It would eat five. <laughs> with my two handed right with staff? Yep. Straight roll in the dark. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I already hit. I already hit. Forget that. Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, so, so twelve damage. All right. So the first attack yes. crushes the imp and it hits the ground. Poof, the wings kind of go limp and it's dead. But you still kind of <laughs> just crushing it more and more, and then his body eventually just burns away. And... Oh my god. Okay. So, I'm going all the to... threats have been neutralized, and you now have two friends that are bleeding okay, out. Okay. Then I'm going to run over to. Ford, Ford and cast Cure Wounds on him. All right. So he wakes up. Yes. Come back to consciousness. Thank With uh, five, five hit, hit points. points. I, will, I will try to stabilize Caleb no. using no. 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 Caleb, I need, I need you to make a death save. Yeah. Fail. All righty. Make a medicine check. Yes. Natural Ooh. twenty. Oh. <laughs> wow. And I will do. I will do mouth to mouth. I will say for the purposes of this, you watch is not. Pulls the porcelain mask back and just gives Caleb the most terrifying mouth to mouth you've ever seen. <laughs> Caleb, the darkness fades and you come to consciousness. The first things you notice are the cold temperature, um, the taste of iron in your mouth, yeah. uh, and the, the, the vision of not pulling away from you like a terrifying Nosferatu. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> like William Defoe. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, Caleb goes, and I cast uh, Dancing Lights into uh, into the goblin and light her up. Oh. <laughs> Even worse. Temporarily <laughs> blinded, not you back away, able to see. Oh, my God. Watch the hell that one. It's like 2 a.m. and the lights come on at the club. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's what she looked like? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I start dancing around in the circle with my illusion. I <laughs> watch as two, two jesters start kind of doing a little <laughs> skip. I immediately run to Toya. I was about to say, I'm going to run to Toya and pick her up. Oh, and yeah. I've got her, I've got her. Do you? I, I got I've, her. I've got, I I've could, got I could hold her though. I've got her. Why? Because why you were the last face her? she saw? I should probably be the first. Thank you. You did the right thing. She doesn't need to. See, you don't need to be the first thing she sees. She's just gonna start screaming all over again. Thank you. Thank you. Anything of the of the toad? We don't need him. Oh yeah, I want to go over and start searching his body. I thought it just. I thought it burned away. No, that's, that's a whole, that's a whole so large part of the torso just burned away, and the oh, inside is like partially burned out with embers in the blast. But like, there's still probably like sixty percent of the body remaining. DM, am I at one hit point at this moment? Or zero? You would be at one hit point. One hit point. consciousness. I'm giving you that because of the natural twenty. <laughs> yeah. When you're the roll, you would just be stable. True love's kiss. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> investigation or perception? It's investigation because you're kind of pouring through the the. Fourteen. The, Fourteen. Um, you find a small uh, pouch of flesh, <gasps> like a little hiding pouch. 
um, that, that that you kind of reach in a little bit, and it has kind of a mucusy liquid on the inside. Mm. Um, as you reach in, your fingers find uh, what appear to be a few small stones you can feel at the tip of your fingers. Do you pull them out? Okay. You pull it out. Um, it's it's a handful of jewels. Um, looks like rings, necklaces. There's actually a, 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 a few stolen pieces of jewelry that are in the pouch, as well as a few coins. What? This is awesome. Here? Um, Ford, I found a cloister of semen for you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> would, would you, is you that the correct that plural? Would, would you give cloister. me what is it's cloister a bag of semen? of stuff that I think you will like. I already Maybe removed all the fancy pasta. stuff from it, though. So it's just gooey yeah. flesh? <laughs> That's definitely yeah. a cloister. Nice. It's a nougat. That's well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, it, it is devoid of any other items or objects. It looks like that was its kind of running fund. Ooh, I put all of the jewels on my fingers. They're still slick, but easy to put on because they're lubricated. Ooh, oh. Not look at me. Those are very nice. We're, Aren't what? these pretty rocks? They are very pretty, yes. Where did you find them? On the bag. On the bag? Yeah. Can I have one? Yes, but first can I use a can I use a ritual spell? Does that work yeah. against Yeah, can I can do ritual spells? You can do ritual spells and won't take a spell slot, it just takes ten minutes more of the casting time to do. Can it. I detect magic on them? You may. Uh, so you take a little bit of time concentrating on it. Um, at the end of the spell, you send out your uh, extended consciousness, um, but they do not resonate anything magical. Mm, they're just plain rings, but they're very pretty. They are pretty. What are you going to do with the girl? <sighs> Get her back home. Where's home for a traveling what circus? What if she's evil? I don't, what we're going to have evil? a talk. We're going to have a talk. We should bring her to the authorities. So that she can defend us. <clears throat> well. So that she can tell everyone that the fiend was bad. We're. I don't know if she feels that way. I don't know if she feels that way either. Although it's going to take some time, I think. And also, we're going to need the body. And honestly, only one of us was here. Hmm? For those at home, I'm pointing it at. Yeah. Well, why was he uh, the only one? Why here? was he? Only because the rest of us are under arrest. That's very true. Oh. So, well, congratulations on single handedly <laughs> defeating the creature that killed several guards. I'm sure you will be well rewarded and compensated. You are a very no. powerful wizard. Yeah, you know, ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like Can I use my. Healing kit and help heal him. Does that work, or does it just bring somebody back? To it just helps stabilize. Yeah. There's okay. a feat you can take that makes it do more. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you have any uh, spells any, left? Anything left in you? I've got nothing. Well, okay. If How, I can heal you in the morning. I am well. Oh, we could just sit here for a bit, and I could catch my breath. I think. We can rest for thirty minutes or an hour let's, or so. Let's take a rest. Yeah. All right, as you guys. Says. Sit here in the quiet. You can hear the crickets now. That the rest of the sound of the forest has fallen away, and the the din of the battle has vanished. Uh, the moonlight gets a bit brighter as the moon climbs higher in the sky. And you all kind of look around at each other and through this haphazard series of events. You've come to assemble a skill set that seems to overlap pretty well. And hopefully it's enough to clear your name. Yeah. But we'll find that out next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! So we're going to end the episode. Uh, we'll be back uh, to continue that thread next Thursday. I want to keep going. Yeah. But it's, it's 10.45! <laughs> I would just like to say that as we're resting there, I'm closing my eyes and keeping a hand down close to Nod with my rings on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to take one off. Side hand. <laughs> One. Oh, that's really good. Twenty-six. I don't even think you have high enough perception to no. tell. Yeah. You have you have a very nice. There's all that mucus on the ring. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, excited oh, to continue oh, this next man. week. Man, I got the full wizard experience tonight. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, yeah. Man, the guys, well, well done. This is your first boss fight at the campaign. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was so unpleasant. We Good job, Two of you are down. Does this mean we level up? He did kind of look like uh, King Hippo. Oh, I hope, well, I hope. we're going to wrap it because we are doing milestone leveling with this campaign. Um, what does that mean? That, that means, that means there's no experience points, but at the end of when each kind of major story happens. beat, when a big moment we can, oh, that I see fit, then everyone will level up together. Oh. Those out of players. So do you see fit? Uh, I will see fit when this arc concludes. Oh. So end of next episode, probably everyone's going to hit level three. Wow. So start thinking about what you know. For those of you who have to choose a path, yeah, think about what you want to do. Man, if you haven't already. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to multi class. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Seven oh, times. <laughs> <laughs> Master of none. Right yeah. Not even passable. Not even like anything. anything. <laughs> uh. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you again for D&D Beyond for being our awesome partner and sponsor for the leg of this campaign. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and is it Thursday yet? Right. Have a good night. Yeah. Oh. We live! We live! We live! We live! We live! We live!